it works. Oh my god, I think I'm streaming. Holy shit. <laughs> I think I'm streaming. Oh my god. What a wild time to be alive. Oh, hello everyone. I am currently testing. Uh, oh good, the audio's turned off on that. I'm a very bad streamer, and I don't stream very often. So, oh, do I have a link yet? That's so crazy. Oh my god. Uh, share. Oh my god, I have a share button. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Um. I think. Yeah, okay, there you go. Booyah. Let's open up the Discord. The cord of the dis. Uh, okay. Let's open up my... Okay, this might work. We'll see. Maybe. Jan, let's go. I agree. Yo, bro. Hi. How's it going? What's up? Okay, it only showed the last chat on here. I'm testing like an overlay so I can see it while I'm playing because I don't actually have multiple monitors. So that was kind of a test here to see if that would work. It might not. I might just have to watch my own stream on my phone. Oh, Skull Man. What's up? Oh, maybe it's that it just doesn't... Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Why, why, why no show more chats? What's up with that? <laughs> that's weird. I don't know why that's the case, but... All right. Uh... Uh, okay. Yes, me. Uh-huh. That's crazy. History. Oh, no. View channel. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm looking at my own ad. I didn't mean to do that. An elusive and rare stream. Zormac, you are very much correct. Okay, I just have it on my phone. Screw it. Because the overlay thing is kind of sucking ass. Oh, Invictus, what's up? Oh, okay. Well, oh, it just fades really quickly. That sucks ass. I don't like that. Dominic, what is up? Uh, what if I go to my chat box? What about that? Chat box. Uh, general settings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's alert box. Okay. I'm very good at streaming, so I understand. Uh, can everyone hear things? My, I guess I should have asked that earlier. Um. Is is there talking going through the mic? <laughs> that seems important. Um. I mean, because I'll just look at the chat on my phone if I have to. Like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's crazy. There's the, like, where, how many, I can hear the voices. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Oh, always show messages. Oh, shit. That's an option? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry for the, uh, sorry for the shitty start here. We are just doing the uh, really boring uh, prep work. File Explorer. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Dark Souls Remastered. Yes. Okay, launch mod. Yes. Okay, everyone can hear me, so that's good. I guess we'll see how game audio is. It might be dog shit, so I'll have to adjust down the music and the, you know, whatnot. Uh, how dare you fix things? Dippity Chris, you are, you are correct. I know. It's outrageous, frankly. Uh, okay, judging by the login sound, you'll know how loud game audio is versus me. So if I have to, I can turn uh, fucking everything down. Wow, we got like 22 people watching? That's crazy. I decided just to stream on YouTube because it's easier with the VOD system. Like, it's just automatically there. And I don't have to fuck with anything. And that also kind of kept me from streaming more often because downloading the VOD from Twitch or recording it and then uploading it and then all the tags and bullshit, I'm like, nah, I don't think so, homie. Hunter must hunt on bugs and DS mod. That's true. A bit too loud, maybe. Oh, the audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Game audio pretty loud. Got it. Got it. Got it. But it could be the loudest menu. Yeah, it is a loud menu. But I turned down the sounds down to like 2 out of 10. Uh, and then if it's too low, we'll figure it out. Uh, we will start a new game. That's what I usually do every time. I try. Uh... Four to five should be good. Okay. Uh, let's see. From soft serve. Okay, the name checks out. Uh, I've noticed with the shader overhaul mod, uh, I gotta DM the Altimore guy about this, that it actually makes the customer, or not the customer, <laughs> the character preview uh, darker. So I gotta let him know. Hey man, can you, can you, uh, can you, uh, you brighten that up a little bit. It's a little dark. At first I thought it was my fuck up, and then I was like, no, I'm not adjusting that. Uh, which menu sounds of which Souls games do you prefer? Okay, I mean, I think Dark Souls 3 wins by default because that menu OST for Dark Souls 3 is just fucking god tier. Like, your thoughts aside of DS3 or whatever, like, that menu music is just fucking awesome like it sets the tone and i usually just go every time i start up a new playthrough of ds3 i just go oh, you know what i'm just gonna listen to it i'm just gonna listen to it let me just let me just let this roll uh i think it's yuka K kitamura i'm butchering that but she's amazing she no longer works at from software but i think she's gonna uh consult uh yeah exactly yeah the, the way that the character is is handled here is definitely yeah Oh, $2 from Crispy. What the hell? Oh, thank you. That's so nice. We see the stream chat twice. Oh, yeah. That's not ideal. Okay, I know what to do. I got it. Let me fix it. You like? Let me fix that. That was my bad. Uh, the overlay is technically, like, only supposed to be for me, but, like, Oh, good. Oh, 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 God. Okay, now it works. It's not in a great spot, is the only thing. Uh, also, let's get rid of that. Like, can you get, can you, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah. The only thing is, it's like, it's really weird with where the chat is now. Or did it disappear? Oh, my God. Seriously. Fucking worst, man. Oh. What? The fuck? <laughs> it's such a busted setup. I wish I could just see the chat that's being put on the screen, but I have to do an overlay because, God forbid. Um, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Oh, my God. Streaming is, streaming is wild, guys. I get why people... Don't do it as much, because my god, custom URL. That URL already exists as a window. Are you sure? Are you sure it fucking does? Because I don't think it does. Oh my god, guys. It's crazy. Um, let's try that again. 
Let's try that again. Okay, I think that's... I think that's the widget, right? Maybe it'll just look stupid for the stream. I don't care. Uh, it's so much work. Yeah, like, dude, streaming is... It's, it's one of those things, like, when I first looked into it, I was like, oh, I'm sure... It, oh, yeah, there's the chat. Okay, cool. So, we'll just... Um, oh, floating grass in the forest. God damn it. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Um, okay, let's just put that, let's just put that up there for now. And you know what? It's not going to be perfect, but it's, it's up there. It's up there. I can see it. It's cool. I'll figure it out for the next stream. Ugh, streaming is wild. Um, why the fuck was I picking my hair color when I'm bald? But whatever, all right. Um, master key, duh. Uh, tiny head, I love that that's an option. Also, Miyazaki? Uh, no, I don't. I, I need to get just like a cheap second monitor that I can like put up vertically or whatever. Uh, it's only a lot of work if you wanna put in any effort. That's true. I mean, I put minimal effort into my videos and I think it shows, to be honest, but I've also made it into my, like, identity, so that's the pro tip. Um, just make sure everyone expects that, and then you don't have to be super polished. It's great. It's nice. Um, shaved head. I think the faces in this game are just really bad. Like, I'm sorry, but this is just unbelievable. Like, come on. From software, I get it was 2011, but jeez, y'all are like, wh what's going on with the skin tone here? Like, what are, what are we doing? It, I yeah, never quite understood. Uh, and then they immediately go to, well, what if they were just toothpaste? Like, it, I mean, and I'm sorry, but this is like offensive, right? We can agree this is offensive, <laughs> like. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, mm. oh, what's up, Magpie? And this is Ryan Reynolds, right? That's Ryan Reynolds. We can all agree on that. Okay, I'm... Also, the Far East... I guess my assumption with the Far East, generally, within the games, is I thought it was, like, Japan or something. Like, generally, like, the uh, Eastern set... I like when you make a video showing the progress of your work and it doesn't take long before you find a mistake and curse under your breath. Yes, that is most of my modding videos, to be honest. I usually go, God fucking damn it. Shit ass mother, yeah. Ain't no way I can see unsee that now. Yeah, it like, come on. That's pretty much. Uh, I usually go for the cream plus straight hair. Yeah, it is default receding. And I think that's nice. You know, representation. I'm lucky among my family that In the age I don't have ancients, the receding hairline genetically. The world was um, we know it's shrouded by fog. We don't need to tell her. Although I do want her to say yes, indeed. Uh, this cutscene at least doesn't look fucking awful now. Yes, indeed. The also, I will have to go grab my dog from outside in a second. Sees my hair is black. What? Yeah, it, so the default of Katarina that they put on the character creator, yeah, is black. So I don't, that's just kind of like, all right, sure. Um, so interestingly, yesterday I was having an issue with the, in the cell, there's normally that little like rectangle of light that is hitting around the character. I legit can't get that to show up. Uh, hey, uh, having to make me come onto YouTube. I know. It's... Oh, this actually looks pretty sick. So what I did is I put this a point light manually. Light. And actually, dude, it looks pretty fucking sick. Holy, wait, the light shows up from that angle. Well, okay, I don't know. But yeah, I placed this point light here manually. And it actually looks... This is my first time watching the cutscene after manually placing that point light. And it actually looks sick. Can't believe this game is woke. Oh my god, trivia's here. Fuck yeah, I was about to DM you specifically on discord because i know you would never forgive me if you missed the stream and it's also it's your fault that i'm streaming just so we're clear you had to post it in the general chat 
call me out. And I went, you know what? You got me. You fucking got me. Um, but I do like streaming, so. Uh, it looked awesome, dude. Wow. Yeah, like, it actually looked really fucking good. I think it, it, it worked well. And you can see the shadow, and so. Um, Leon James. Yeah, thank you for the kind words. Also, the textures on display here uh, were modified uh, by Trivia, who's in the chat. A very talented texture artist. I'm sure all of you know her by now. If you don't, what the hell are you doing? Uh, she went through each uh, texture for Undead Asylum. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, undid a lot of the filters that they had put on them. And, like, look at this fucking metal door now. It looks sick as hell. Also, yes, I still have my event scripting that allows the doors to be opened. <laughs> for no reason. But, hey... I changed this goddamn bag to a different light ID, I swear to God. Because they stand out, but they were set to the wrong lighting ID. Oh, maybe I never applied that change. Yeah, it's the rite of passage for a serve stream. I know, okay, but this time I'm like, I'm serious about it. Um, I'm gonna, like, each, each day. Because I did a poll on Twitter. Uh, and 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, was the time that most everyone picked, like 60-70%. And so I might stream for like two hours, three hours. Hard cut off is like 5 p.m. for me. That seems like a good time to just cut off. And then that way it's manageable, it's not too much time. I have plenty of time beforehand, take care of the pets, all, all the good, you know, considerations. Because I want it to be manageable. Oh, yeah. look at this purple. Look at this fucking purple that Trivia found in the texture originally but it was covered up by filters. Look at this abyss-coated fucking purple. It's so cool. Yeah, I know, Twitter polls are very reliable, they are. Before I found, well, the fix that, okay. I believe it when I see it, and I'll be here like usual for most. Uh, it looked wrong standing out a lot, yeah. Let me see if I can, aha. Yeah, so the fun, the weird thing is when I was, you know, working on the version, or, well, on the separate mod that's the darkness mod, um, that that's without any of the re-remastered, like, mesh fixes or any param changes at all uh, as far as, like, lighting IDs. So I guess map changes. Um, dude, there are so many problems with remastered and prepare to die edition just ds1 in general uh there are so many problems of things that have the wrong fog id things that have a fucking giant mesh hole there's so many problems that i fixed over the months and months that i i forgot about honestly why am i streaming on youtube uh it's easy um it's easy okay so, well so here's the funny thing yeti is that uh, remastered really didn't upscale their textures. They have the same resolution textures um, with, with about 98% of them uh, from Prepare to Die Edition. Um, so they, they didn't really uh, upscale anything. They had some source textures. Well, that's not true. There Apparently there were some that they had a very specific method for upscaling, but realistically I've gone between the two versions. And I can tell you definitively, there is so few examples where Remastered has a higher resolution texture. Like, less than 2% of the time. Um, remastered absolutely gets credit for adding a normal map for every goddamn surface. A specular map for every fucking surface. Although, almost all the spec maps are not, use, uh, are not uh, utilized, but like, they are there. Um, so the functionality alone uh, was a huge addition. Uh, the normal maps specifically, like Prepare to Die Edition has a shit ton of surfaces that have no normal maps and no spec maps. I got nothing. Uh, because there are definitely some textures that have been upscaled. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah, there were some that I can't remember. I think it was Drop Off that was talking about it in the Discord uh, or server name Discord, that it's a very specific method that they used. Um, but yeah, it wasn't like AI based. It was, you know, obviously an earlier period of time. Uh, I mean, obviously, AI, or upscaling in general has been around for a fuck a fuckload of time, 
And there's really clever ways of doing it without any artificial intelligence uh, portion. Uh, oh, why did I start as the Wanderer? I, do I have to blame you, chat? Was I not paying attention? Not that I hate the Wanderer set. Although, you can uh, love the... Uh, these are the Prepare to Die Edition textures for the Wanderer set. Um, so you get the green back. Yeah, lack of face cam. So that, that's been one where I used to use a face cam. And then... I just stopped using it because most people were like, yeah, we don't really care. And I went, okay. Also, my face isn't like anything special to look at, you know. You know, just throwing that out there. I mean, pretty hot, I know, but. All right, bitch ass. I personally don't care. Yeah, I think most people that watch my content generally I, I don't know, I haven't, I think there's a, a, a small number that would, that would maybe want that, but I, I think the vast majority are like, nah, bro, I'm good. And uh, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I prefer no face cam. Yeah, I, well, so, I mean, part of it is that it, it, it allows you to uh, see more of the game. Yeah, exactly. It's more dedicated to the, the textures. And, and that's true. Uh, I think... Yeah, bitch ass. You thought you, you thought you had me with that ball. I still get hit by it all the time, by the way. So I, I can't lie about that. I still get hit by it constantly. Oh, so fun fact. Uh, the point light that is right above Oscar here, uh, I actually, that's the one I stole and shoved in the cell that you start the game in. Because I was like, you know what? That's a pretty good point light. I like that point light. Uh, I'm more indifferent, but I also only hang in for streams, like, and don't watch many of your videos. Oh. Outrageous, Yoshi. I'm so offended. <laughs> uh, no, that makes sense. You need to VTube. Yeah, that's true. Well, because that's like stayed, right? That's what, that's what he does. Uh, he has a little VTuber thing that kind of moves. Yeah, I do need to have a Faram. I gotta commission someone, I guess, to give me a little Faram guy that, like, can VTube a little bit. So I think Stade has it right. Um, I have failed in my mission. Yeah, that's true. See, here's the other weird thing. Oscar here is wearing the upscaled and uh, trivia modified normal map and all that stuff. Uh, Elite Knight set. Um, but sometimes he's not. Like his hollow version usually doesn't, but not always. Sometimes it does. Now, why, why does that happen? I don't know. I don't fucking know. There's something I'm like, I don't understand how that's possible. Because, like, I can see the NPCs have a different set of textures they use, but it's right next to the same folder. And it literally just, I think it's, it's either it adds an M or it takes away an M from the folder. And so there's duplicates. And so NPCs use one, players use a different one. Uh, and for some reason, he just sometimes doesn't. So, I can't say I understand why, but that's one of those things where you just go, I don't know. Fuck if I know, man. Man, these doors look so good. Oh my god, look at all, look at all that surface detail. I could lick the rust on this. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, but I could. I won't, but I could. Oh, I love the depth of field out here. I, I, I set it to like super depth of field. Uh, because the mountains, even after upscaling, they don't look that good. Uh, I'm also realizing these mountains, and this is probably very intentional, because uh, I, I was just in Dark Souls 3 earlier today. They look very similar to the mountains uh, in the Untended Graves that you can see in the distance, right? Am I wrong on that? That's intentional, right? Uh, what's up, big dog? How you doing? Oh, I got the parry times down. Gotta say, game's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with Northern Undead Asylum. Uh, I did find a trick to counteract some of the darkness, like to make it a little bit more visible. It was the, I think it's the, in the tone map bank settings, 
you can up the white point, or no, it's the gray point. Uh, from like normally it was 0.18, I can set it to 0.21, and that just adds a little bit of just a little bit more visible, but still dark. Um, I'm gonna have the guy try to smack at me because it's my favorite little thing that he does. If you just stay here long enough, he tries to fucking hit you. No bitch ass. Okay, so this is the thing I was curious about. You can hop onto these little platforms. Oh, he oh he can destroy those too. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure about that. I was kind of hoping I found the secrets. Um, okay. Yeah, like 500 years after this game came out, I'll find the secrets. Um, what's up, big dog? How you doing? How you doing? Also, canonically, are we saying that my character gets fatter when he returns to Undead Asylum to break these bricks? And then go see the stray demon? Is that what we're saying? Has someone asked me, Zaki? I realize my chats aren't showing up on screen anymore, so that sucks. Nothing in the events? No! It, it, as far as I... yeah, I'll have to double check, but yeah, it... it... What's up, big guy? Hey, okay. Alright, I'm up in the gooch now. Oh my god, it's, it is sweaty back here. I wish they wouldn't repack the textures four times. Yes, so it's incredibly annoying. Okay, I disagree with that hit. Um, yeah, they, they pack the textures so many fucking times. Like, yeah, DSR is much more annoying to work on when it comes to that. Um, it's just super, super fucking annoying. Uh, Prepare to Die Edition is like a ton of fun because it's just one giant texture TX file. Now, I don't know that that's actually... I think that has more to do with how Prepare to Die Edition gets unpacked. Because I, I, I don't know, I don't think that's how the actual, like, system works. Uh, where it's just one TX folder and then every texture in the game is, is sitting in there. I assume that's more down to the unpacking than anything. And Remastered obviously doesn't need to be unpacked, so... Um, also, Remastered uses more DCX compression on things. Where Prepare to Die Edition will just have the TPF file sitting there. Just chilling, you know. But yeah. Oh my god, we had like 39 people watching. What the fuck? Crazy. Yeah, the mountains still don't look good. Look at that. Ugh. I need to upscale them to like 16k. And then maybe. To leave the undead aside. In pilgrimage. Hey, chat overlay. I would really like if you would like work again that would be cool but if you don't want to uh i totally get it i totally get it let's go to firelink you know yeah the firelink cutscene is better uh i still need to update i think the lighting ids on it a little bit um but it, it's pretty close My cat is looking for cables to eat at the moment, and he knows I'm distracted, so. Uh, alright, alright, alright. We've made it to Firelink. We, we spent six hours in Undead Asylum. Uh, Humanity 3, you love to see it. Uh, what's up, my dude? Oh, you're looking very shiny. All right, well, I don't want to get too close to your armor. Uh, I'm not sure the live chat's working at all anymore. Am I crazy? I don't think it's working. I'm not even getting the live chat, like on my phone watching the stream. Like, did the live chat just die? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Oh, yeah, so there... Okay, well, there you go. Now I see the chat when I, I view from here. Like, what the f YouTube. YouTube, what are you doing? Like, what, what the absolute fuck are you doing? 
I do not understand. <laughs> I don't get it, YouTube. Can you stop? Uh, let's see if this works again. Okay. Kind of back. Kind of not back. So. This will delete the settings for the window. You are correct. You are very correct. Oh my god, am I going to come up with a better solution for this? <laughs> for a future stream. Keep up the good work. Keep up the work. Mod looks fire. Thank you. Yeah, YouTube moment. What the fuck, YouTube? Like, I never had this problem on Twitch. Just randomly the chat stopped showing up in the app and everything. Uh, yeah, I think the chat box just fucking died, dude. Okay, well, I'll just look at it on my fucking phone then. So, such is life. Whatever. Um, yeah, get out of here, Twitch chat overlay. Bullshit. Something. Okay. Uh, authenticity that comes along with it. Yeah, that's true. Keep being yourself. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I like the busted nature of... Because I always get comments every once in a while. They're like, hey, have you ever thought of being more professional? They say it in a nicer way, but we know that that's what they mean. And I usually go, yeah, occasionally. And then I decide against it because I don't think that's a lot of fun, you know? Plus, it's also the thing of like, you know, I've got like thousands of subscribers and tons of followers. And so it's sort of like that thing of, I mean, it seems to be working, like not to like, you know, I know out of context, that sounds like egotistical, but it's like, no, just from like a standpoint of, I don't know why I would change what I'm doing, right? If you, yeah, I know. What kind of stream would it be? It would not be a good stream. We need, we need fucking issues. I don't like my starting class. I got to be real with you. This armor, this armor set, it's never been my favorite. Really hasn't. Um, okay, big dog. I want my Elite Knight set, and I think for the Director's Cut version of, of this mod, whenever I do that, like in 2055, I'm deaf. Okay, bitches. Wait for the release of Director's Cut. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I want to, like, add the Elite Knight set uh, as, like, a starting uh, armor set. I'll probably re replace the Knight set. Because the Elite Knight, like, come on. Uh, and that's, honestly, I don't like this weapon. You know what? I don't like this weapon. That's inspired by the Bearer of the Curse, you know, mod that we're working on. Uh, one of the changes that Yuzora made was to make the Faram set one of the starting sets. <laughs> he just chucked his friend off. <laughs> oh, buddy, you just yeeted off all your friends. That's just, that's rude. That's fucking rude, man. Uh, couldn't help notice, but the, that this stream is unsanctified. 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 I don't know what that's a reference to, but that's probably just because, I don't know, scatterbrain. Uh, yeah, I know, cloth physics, yeah. That's like the big upgrade going to DS2, is you get cloth physics. And there's like a weird system that's like a really rudimentary bone-based kind of or uh, physics-ish system uh, in DS1, but like it's it's I've heard it's not great. I think it was King Boar that was like, yeah, it's there, but it fucking sucks because you'll see it on like the giant set for the giant enemies, but not for the player. They, they do technically have a little bit of cloth physics uh, on their armor. Uh, it doesn't look great, though. The light's looking good. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i really happy with where Undead Bird is. I need to not change it anymore. Like, oh, also, check out this goddamn Boletaria bridge texture. Technically, it's, it's mainly on the bridge up there uh, once we get up there. But I also replaced, the, it was the cobble texture that I've never been a huge fan of. It never upscaled well. It just it just didn't look that good. And it was used everywhere. But yeah, check out this uh, Demon Souls floor. 
it oddly fits an undead bird so well. It's crazy. It really fits with the stone slash green leaves and grass. Like, it's just perfect. Have you ever thought about baking the lighting? Well, yeah, so that, that is a future idea. Oh, damn it. I, I still need to go into Blender and do what I did earlier where I changed uh, this texture to no longer look fucking... Oh, I gotta hate this weapon. Uh, baking the lighting. Uh, yeah, Demon Souls texture. Yeah, check out this floor. That is from the Boletaria Bridge. Um, but it's not using, obviously, the Demon Souls light map that, like, super changed how it looked. Um, th this is the actual texture. Uh, using a light map. Uh, actually, no, the light map has been stripped out. Actually, you know what? I'm not going over there. But it fits so well. It's weird. It's kind of creepy. I mean, it kind of fits since Demon Souls, you know, is the only reason DS1 exists, and uh, they share underlying almost identical engine. I mean, DS1, I think, upgraded it, like, a little bit. Like, stayed McMuffin for DS2 mod. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, f at first I would say Stade is vastly more talented than I am. Uh, he's fantastic. Um, but yes, the goal is definitely to bake uh, the lighting uh, again. Uh, and that way it doesn't need to be dynamic. Because this engine doesn't really like using uh, a fuckload of dynamic shadows. It just was not set up to do that, so you get the shadow more issues. Um, and so yeah, the goal is definitely to bake the, the lighting again. I've been waiting for the Blender Soulstruct plugin to have that capability more easily. Uh, if I was talented with Blender, I could do it now, probably. Because I, I, I've been looking at some of like the tutorials of like, how do you bake light maps with Blender? And I was like, okay, but how do I like guarantee that light map? Like, is in the format the DS1 wants, you know? And I mean, not, I don't mean like BC7, like I obviously know it's gonna be BC7. Uh, DDS, you know, compression, but I mean more so of like, I don't know, I just, yeah, I, I don't know much about light maps, to be honest, and generating them. Uh, technically, you can also generate them, I believe, with the debug menu. I gotta look into that, because if I can just generate them with the actual DS1 debug menu, that seems like a, that seems like the good idea, right? Uh, the view of the future area visible from a long distance, yeah, like, yeah. The, the distant stuff is some of the best work, I think. Strangely, I don't notice any shuddering on streams or videos, but on my PC, stuttering, shuddering is highly apparent. Huh. Is, is that everywhere in the mod, or is it just an Undead Berg? Because I will say Undead Berg is the heaviest area in the game, by far. Uh, just by the complexity of the areas it's around and the amount of like interaction between connect collisions to different maps and it's 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 definitely the most complex um, I've lost my mind many times working on Undeadburg to be honest with you um, but and technically the frame pacing of DS1 is, 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 is not perfect but if you're having like a general stutter all of the time yeah that's unnatural uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I would ask, of course, what your computer specs are, because I I'm running on a pretty mid-range one, like a Ryzen 5 3600 and uh, RTX 2060. Uh, yeah, okay, Undead Berg, yeah, yeah, Undead Berg um, is 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 touch and go. It's it's mostly fine, like at least on my computer, it's mostly fine. But if you are going to have issues, it's going to be an Undead Berg. Um, and uh, I have been working on optimization. I undid a lot of my sloppy work from months prior. So the draw groups have been updated to, like, not draw it. Like, I think that was a recent change I made. Where, like, these interior things, like the, tr uh, the chairs and the tables and all that, from, like, months and months ago... I had set them to render all of the time because I think there was like one that was popping out at, or not being rendered at the right time. And so I, I put those back to now they correctly don't render when they don't need to. 
Um, so it's small things like that. Oh, no stuttering, just more. Oh, oh, got it. I know what you mean. Okay, got it. On the shadows and whatnot on the environment. Yeah. So here's the weird thing. That, uh, yes, you'll notice it in, in Undead Berg. Uh, Anne Orlando has a lot of it. Actually, Anne Orlando is the worst when it comes to that. I was meaning more performance with Undead Berg. Um, but yeah, as far as those go, I am not entirely sure why it's, it's as map dependent as it is. Uh, cause you won't see it very much on certain maps. Like Sense Fortress doesn't really have a big issue. Now why? I don't know. I'm using like the same, dude, I fucking hate that this weapon, I can't kick with it. That sucks. I, I want to kick. Okay. Uh, I have a 3080 and well, all right, your computer is way better than mine. Okay, yeah, so it's not, we're not talking about performance. I think I read shuddering as stuttering. Um, yeah, then it's not a performance thing. It is literally just how the engine does not like having. It, it was never set up to have dynamic shadows on this level. They were only ever really meant for dynamic objects like barrels and tables things that you could actually like break and you need the shadow to update when you break them right because if it doesn't update it looks fucking awful um but yeah it was never set up to like be used on a broad basis um even ds2 i think doesn't i mean ds2 has a shadow limit so there's that um but it obviously handles lighting vastly better uh why don't you ask state about baking lighting he did some baking of firelink ds1 oh shit sure, yeah that's a good call. I, I, I will DM him, actually. I mean, I know he's super busy, so I try not to DM stayed on, like, things I can figure out on my own, possibly. Uh, he's been super helpful, so. Um, but I know he's got his hands full. Uh, and his main, like, area is DS2, but he's obviously done DS1 mods. Um, hell, I'm using his uh, materials mod. Oh, man, I love seeing all that ambient occlusion. Uh, yeah, I'll DM state about that. Be like, hey man. Uh, the better color and texture of the floor. Yeah, there's a stupid heart on the screen uh, on my phone when I look at the chat. It's so stupid. It cuts off some of the words. Uh, are pleasing to my eyes. Nice. Love to see it. Yeah, that's kind of the, the thing I, uh, I really enjoyed about loading up the the darkest souls one mod because that wasn't using any parium changes right uh well like actual parium changes beyond making it dark but like the actual or no, no 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 no, i'm thinking of the wrong thing no when i was working on the texture mod that is now out where you can download it separately for remastered without downloading re-remastered and all the other bullshit you can just i now actually just have a texture pack for ds1 What's really cool about that is that because they're most of them are originally from Prepare to Die Edition, your game actually gets contrastier strictly from the textures. Not even adjusting params, not adjusting anything else. Literally just the textures uh, are more uh, contrasty. And Q-Lock uh, washed out a lot of them, but not all of them. And I've always found that weird. There's like some that they touched and then some that they didn't at all. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, there were upscaling methods and they obviously did use it on like a super small number. I just think they didn't have the time or something. Because they're like, the every almost every texture is the same resolution. And they didn't even change the, the DDS compression for like most textures. The only ones they changed were for anything that has like alpha, you know, so any transparent materials. They switched over to BC7, which does make sense, right? You're not going to use BC3. God damn it. Okay, I ran out of Estes. I don't even have my HUD on this entire time. I just noticed that. Why did chat not tell me I don't have my HUD on? It's a challenge run. Okay. Oh, it's too white? What? Oh, I didn't even read what Magpie said earlier. It's too white. I don't know what he's referring to. Uh, why am I trying to heal again? I don't have any healing. They should give an option to turn off the emote thing. Oh, he fell off! That hasn't happened to me in so long. Hell yeah. 
Oh, I once noticed you changed the item at Undead Merchant. Yeah, I just recently, I think it was like two updates ago, I set that back to default. Oh, wow, is my... Wow, I think my stream is like super delayed. Yeah, it's like five or six seconds. Shit, that makes sense. I always forget how much the delay is. Yeah, well, love to see it. Um, I think the emote thing is, like, only a problem in Bloodborne, right? Where you can just, like, motion control your your controller or whatever. Uh, nice victory, I know. First time seeing that? Oh, shit. That's a rite of passage. You gotta have him hop off. It's great. If he hops off the other side, I think he doesn't die, though. Uh, Stade is trying to make a clone of Armored Core. What? Yeah, I mean, I know Flame of his Flame of Old mod, but wait, what about Armored Core? He's also making an Armored Core game? What the fuck? That mad lad, all right. Uh, what's up, Solaire? How's it going? You got a big chest, my dude. I mean that in a very positive way. Okay, you say I don't look hollow, but I think I look hollow. Like... I'm straight beef jerky mode. Uh, yeah, give me your soapstone, dog. Give me your soapstone. Uh, I haven't found any glaring bugs. Oh, damn it, Solaire. I was, I was busy. Okay. Hey, Solaire, let me try again. Give me your soapstone. I, I agree. Yeah, Twitch is better. Oh! Turn, oh, you mean the emote thing for... The stream itself. Wait, what emote thing? What are we talking about? We should turn off the emote thing. Mm, okay. I don't know what that is. I'm not good at streaming. It's definitely been more than two years. Yeah, I think Trivi's right on that. Yeah. It's been a long time. Uh, I respect him for not, like putting any sort of release date on it. I'll admit I have genuinely no idea like what progress percentage he's on. Like I oh no. Okay, well the no HUD st strikes again. I didn't know I was low on health. And I have to make the whole run back. Okay. Um yeah I have no idea like where he's at. Yeah I meant the heart react oh Got it, Gains. Got it. Totally. Or Gainery? Gain Gainers? Gainersy? Oh, let me go grab my dog from outside. Hold on. If anyone asked in chat why I'm standing around. Oh, anytime I'll go to, like, make coffee or get my dog, it's going to be in Firelink. I was going to say that. That way you get nice Firelink music. Probably quiet, but loud enough. I'll be back.
No way, you have 7,000 subs now. Hell yeah. I'm almost at 8,000. Uh, pretty crazy. I was like, hmm, that's wild. Okay, I just hit my desk with my knee, just so you know. You get the full experience here. Um, yeah, Firelink looks good. I'm, I'm digging it. I got a... I'm going to bug trivia and be like, hey, you got those M10 textures for me? <laughs> Have you stripped the filters off those? I'd love to see them. Although, of course, she is busy with the Dark Souls 2 mod, so. That's, I'm sure that's first priority. Dark Souls Remastered, like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's backup stuff. That's no biggie. Um, now, really, trivia can work on whatever the hell she wants. That's... She's in the chat anyway, but, you know. Uh, now I'm like, is my chat still working? Oh, it's so stupid. YouTube, you're killing me. You're killing me. Um, no, that's working. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, hell yeah, trivia. I would love... I wasn't sure if you were done with them or not. Because uh, I know that's like the biggest goddamn texture file is M10 for sure. I just have to fix an alpha issue? Oh, hell yeah. Because I remember the one thing you showed me uh, are a couple screenshots, I think. And I was like, oh, shoot, that looks awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah. I like, try them out. Um, and uh, I think Yozora should be back in the country. Um, so we can kind of... Have a powwow. <laughs> Is that what they call them? I don't know. Oh, I gotta go get my souls. I never sat at the other bonfire. Are you killing me? Are you killing me? Kidding me? God. Okay. Don't mind me, chat. I'm not a good streamer. Uh, okay. Let's get back to our souls. I forgot. Bonfire. Bonfire lit. Bonfire sit. Okay, bitch asses. I've dodged you like 500,000 times. I'm not even sure what the real number is. Yeah, Bearer of the Curse hype. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm excited about that mod. Although for me, I'm kind of like, the more I think about it, I'm like, I think my work on it, like I've done most of the things that I think I want and can. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I need to shut the fuck up. Um, I'm mostly in like support mode now. Because Trivia's doing, like, all the cool work. Um, dude, hey, I sat at the bonfire. Respect the rules. Uh, sir, just wanted to say I was having an issue with collisions loading between maps a while ago. And you suggested I look into nav meshes. It totally worked. Thanks for the advice. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I can't remember who I heard it from that, that nav meshes was sort of, like, I think it was, uh, I heard it secondhand from someone who was talking about uh, Grimm and working on Nightfall, is that really the trick was figuring out that nav meshes is apparently the secret sauce of like how to get the shit to load between collisions, because I myself had never figured it out, right? Um, where's the Drake? Oh, I had already come up here, so the Drake had already flown by. Um... What time is it at your place? It is 3 p.m. Uh, you had told me it was King Boar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, King Boar. That's true. King Boar is the purveyor of all DS1 knowledge. We need to have, like, the Mount Rushmore of DS1. And it would be, like, Illusory Wall, obviously. Uh, King Boar. Uh, Grim. Yeah, I think that's... I'm forgetting someone. You could put state up there. I mean, how do you not put state up there? Just in general. Hey, bitch asses. Nah. I should kill the Black Knight. I know that. Yeah. See ya. Hey, who who did I get souls from? Who died? Who jumped off? Um. Oh, I'll show you some really bad UV mapping. Check that out. Mizaki, you're never gonna make it in this industry. 
Hey man, I really appreciate all uh, fucking shit ass, but no fucking way. You got all three of you coming up here? I've never had that happen before. I'm pretty sure I've four. Okay. First of all, y'all usually leash. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. you. Homies, you guys leash. You guys may not remember it, but you're supposed to leash. It feels like you are still unwell. Really? Oh, I know what you're describing, actually. Let me kill these jabronis first. <laughs> um, no, what you're hearing is that I'm drinking coffee and uh, I have a nasally voice. So it sounds like I have a nasal blockage uh, always, basically. Because uh, I'm a nasally motherfucker. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, realistically, but... It is what it is. Parry? Yeah, I know. I should parry. Uh, okay, I really appreciate all the work you do on all your mods and keep doing what you want to do. Sometimes I see people say you have too many projects, but I think your work is all awesome. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I get like a very, very like less than 5%. There's people who comment like, like, what the hell are you doing? Why don't you just work on one project? And it's like, well, I've obviously thought of that. Uh, and I did do that for a while with this project. I went like, a month or two straight but honestly i've learned so much from working on different mods and like i've i'm learning things that i bring back to every single mod i work on and like dark souls re remastered would not be anywhere near what it is currently if i had not worked on demon souls if i had not worked on ds2 if i had not worked on gs3 and like i have learned so many things from working on the other games um and even doing a different project in the same game I just found something out about the player lantern working on that darkness mod that I'm going to bring back to DSRR. So like I get that people are like, yeah, but you could finish your mod faster. I'm like, yes, but it would be a vastly inferior mod. Um, really those dudes thought they were in DS2. Exactly. They thought they were in gank mode. I was like, you're in the fucking wrong game. Oh, you're in Italy and it's 10 PM. I gotta say a little jealous. Italy looks fucking awesome. Um, quick question for you. Are the vines and leaves in Undead Bergen Parish an overlay or part of the texture? Oh, you mean the... Yeah, these are an actual uh, separate, uh, like, transparent mesh thingy. And then they just use this texture. And then they use a shader thingy to do the actual, like, uh, or vertex shader to do the movement. Uh you know, sort of making it look like it's swaying in the wind, which is something Prepare to Die Edition does not have. So q -Lock does get credit for doing a vertex shader. Uh, it looks pretty good. On grass, too. Um, really wish there was a DS2 mod that can match the animation's hitboxes and collisions. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I agree. I, I don't like, I don't really like the combat in DS2. I just don't. Um, that's my lingering issue with it. Um, I just don't really like the underlying mechanics of it. Um, and I think a lot of those just aren't fixable. Um, Bearer of the Curse obviously like improves upon things with how you move. And then the Dead Zone mod is like definitely an improvement. But overall, it just I just think it feels worse. You bitch ass. You almost never come down here. Are you aware of... Jesus motherfucking Christ. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I got your bitch ass now. Okay, I don't have your bitch ass. Oh, I do have your bitch ass. I, I knew it. Um, good evening. Yeah, what's up? How's it going? What's your favorite type of cheese? Okay, I am a basic bitch in that I do not know a lot of cheeses. I mean, I know of a lot of different cheeses existing, but have I had a lot? No. Do I like stinky cheese? No. Even though I know that's apparently the best tasting cheese. I'm aware of that. I just, I don't know. I don't like that it smells. So my favorite thing is like super basic, but it is sharp cheddar. The sharper the better. Uh, okay, big dog. I, I need you to like get down off your perch so I can get in that bonfire room you know do you plan on releasing a version of this mod without the lighting and brightness changes no not really 
it's a lot of work. Like, the way that the mods get packaged, like, that is just an unbelievable amount of work to, like, separate the two of those, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, pesto. I don't know how to say the first one. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Halloumi? Halloumi? I'm, I'm actually butchering that. Goat cheese is goaded. Okay, that, okay. You need to ban yourself. Ban yourself for a day. <laughs> Uh, I would love another update to your Demon Souls mod. You might be the only one. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I joke. I joke. Uh, Demon Souls mods just don't get a lot of downloads because it's hard to, you know, it's a lot harder to play the game than it is the other ones. You, you know, you got to emulate it and it's a whole thing. Um, how's the Firelink Shrine path going? Oh yeah, I totally 86 that. I, just for this mod, I was like, it's outside the scope. I have bigger issues. And so that, like, that that's just a separate thing that maybe in the future. Because I was having collision issues and, like, Blender was not liking me. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I got bigger fires to put out. I ain't worrying about expanding shit. Uh, I would love Demon Souls on PC. Yes. Well, now that we have Ghost of Tsushima coming to PC very soon, the only one left is Demon's Souls Remake. Now, I know some people are going to harp on that. Oh, I prefer if it was the original. I agree. I would love the original too. But we can't have everything in life. And that's literally never going to happen. But the remake on PC, that will happen. It was in the NVIDIA leak. We just don't know when. But like at this point, it's got to be the only one left. We've had Returnal. We've had Miles Morales. We've had Spider-Man. Isn't Spider-Man 2 coming to PC uh, soon? Um, yeah, I mean, if the original Demon's Souls somehow came to PC, like, yeah. it. I mean, I don't think it would have as active as other Dark Souls games. Like, Dark Souls 1, I think, just has a really good modding scene. Dark Souls 2 has obviously reached, like, a new peak of, like, it's crazy. It's probably the most interesting modding scene, I think. Dark Souls 3 is a pretty boring modding scene, if I'm honest with you. There's something about DS3 that I don't know. I don't know if it doesn't inspire people that much, but, like, I feel like the modding scene for DS3 is kind of like, meh. Like, there's a lot. I mean, not to say there's not a lot of mods. I just, I don't know. I don't find anything, like, super crazy coming out of the DS3 uh, mod scene. It feels like, meh, all right. Uh, there's still God of War Ragnarok. That's true. Yeah, but like, Demon's Souls Remake, it came out in 2020. What are we doing? It, like, it's long past time. And there's been games that released way after that. So, like, I don't know. I'm not sure if they're having issues or... Because uh, it's not a licensing problem. Like, they own the, the IP, so, like... And, like, why you wouldn't want to capitalize on the newfound, like, super high level of popularity of Souls games? I don't get it. Like, I don't fucking get it. Yeah, still no Bloodborne. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, we'll see. Although the people thinking it's going to come to PC before it comes to PS5... Nah. Nah. It, it's, it, Sony would never do that. They will never cannibalize their own sales. Like, that's just not going to happen. Uh, is this new game or new game plus? This is new game. Uh, did you stream Arch Thrones? No, I haven't. To be honest, I downloaded Arch Thrones. Um, I played like 30 minutes of it or an hour, and I was kind of like, like, it's impressive. Don't get me wrong. It's impressive. It is. It's a lot of work that went into that mod. And from what I know of DS modding, like, it was a lot of work. Um, but, I don't know. I didn't have a lot of fun fighting some of the bosses. I was like, eh. And some of the enemy placements. I was like, eh. I don't know. I might just be a little uppity. But, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't have the, the need to, like, push through it. Uh, half of Elden Ring mods are behind a paywall. No fucking way, really? Yeah, I'm pretty out of date on, like, Elden Ring mods. Also, did you guys see that Elden Ring mod that's coming out in May? For the Lobo stream, like charity stream, it's made by Grim. What the fuck? That mod is insane. That's the most insane mod description I've seen in a long time. I was like, bro, are you kidding me? 
I should look it up. I don't know what it's named. I can't remember. I think it was after the shattering, but then he found there was already a mod called that, so he had to rename it something else. Uh, they're having they're having issues, and it's called Big Dummy Syndrome. Trivia is correct because they're gonna have a new CEO of PlayStation soon, and he better walk in there and say, "Bro, what the fuck are we doing with Bloodborne? Give me the lowdown," because I don't get it. Here's the real question. Trivia and I were talking about this a couple days ago. Why the fuck? Because, okay, I get that, like, it hasn't come to PS5. They haven't done anything. But what's more confusing to me is why it didn't get updated for PS4 Pro. Like, how is that possible? PS4 Pro came out in 2016. Bloodborne came out in 2015. The Old Hunters, I think, came out in early 2016, right? I could be wrong on that. How the fuck do you not update that game for PS4 Pro? I don't get it. That's like your lead fucking... That's one of your crown jewels. I mean, at that point, maybe they didn't consider it a crown jewel, but like, what the fuck? Um, hopefully the bosses get tuned. I think they did. Um, the things I enjoyed about Arch Thrones, like the small time, was like seeing Hyde's Tower... Or Heidi's, Heidi's Tower? Hyde's Tower of Flame from DS2. Like, that was cool. I was like, fuck yeah, man. Bringing in assets from other Dark Souls games. That was, that was cool. A lot of work goes into that. Um, can I beat this guy first try? Probably not. Oh, bitch ass. Can I get a bleed on him? Yeah, still 30 FPS cap. Yeah, yeah. Hunters was holiday. Okay, so a little bit earlier. But still, how the fuck do you not update that to 4K? Like, you updated a lot of fucking other games. And so then my thinking is like, well, yeah, does FromSoft really... Are they the, 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 the developer that would ever, like, update their games to a higher resolution? No. They wouldn't, because they don't give a fuck about that. But, in this case, like, Japan Studio was obviously alive and well, and they co-developed it, right? And so you would just have Japan Studio update it for PS4 Pro. And they just didn't. Like, it does make me think, like, did did they accidentally put the source code in, like, a fucking shredder or something? Oh, wait. Wait, where'd the knight go? Where? What happened to the knight? I thought this, this scimitar has bleed. Am I wrong on that? I am wrong on that. I forgot. I was thinking I had the falchion from DS2. Don't judge me. Oh, fucking shit-ass bitch. Where the hell... Okay, first of all, chat. Where did he go? How did he... How did he exit? Without me seeing him. He fell? Oh, shit. Is he lower health? I don't know. I don't have my HUD on. Yes. Okay. I kind of like the challenge mode of not having a HUD on. It's more beautiful, and I'm more likely to die. It's great. Yeah, bitch ass. Nah, yeah, do the attacks I like. Don't do the pointy attacks. I can't ever, like, I can't parry spears. I can't parry things like that very well. Don't do the, yeah, like that attack. Don't do that fucking attack. Do the, nah, that one I really dislike. Use Claymore, bro. I know, but I don't think I have the stats for it. It requires, I think, a little bit. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't do that attack. Don't do that fucking attack. Yeah, do that attack. We like that one. Stuck in wall, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Oh, damn it. All right. I don't have streamer loot. I thought I installed the streamer uh, mod. Yeah, I don't have 16 strength. But I, I guess I can just two-hand it. Or wait, no. No, I can't. I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough strength for that. I probably have souls. Like, I don't even know how many souls. No heal, no HUD run. Oh, God, no. We definitely are doing a heal run. <laughs> okay, hot take. I didn't even post this on Twitter because I'm like, I'm, there's no reason to post this on Twitter. I, I'm just going to be a contrarian, but I don't mean it like being a contrarian because, you know, I fucking hate that. I don't care really about challenge runs. I don't. I know it's a huge thing in Souls games, but when I see that someone beat it using Morse code, I go, okay, I mean, 
that's weird, but I mean, that's impressive. Don't get me wrong. It's impressive, but I couldn't give less of a shit. I just, I just don't, I, I don't find it interesting in, 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 for watching. I know a lot of people do, and I think that's great, but I fucking don't, man. Oh, I had a lot of souls. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, let's get some endurance. Uh, Returnal was pretty good. Oh yeah, Returnal was cool. Returnal is a game, it's one of the few, where I decided I was not good enough to play that game. So. Yeah, but I mean like now. What even is a new Sony IP? Yeah, what's the new one? Do they even have a new one? Um, no, not really. Valve made a proxy Half-Life 3. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. They Okay, spoiler alert. If anyone doesn't want Half-Life Alex spoilers, look away for, in like the next five seconds, okay? Because there's a delay. <laughs> so look away because it's a great game and you should play it. Um, okay, your warning is, is over. So they ended it with teasing Half-Life 3. So... Like, I mean, we, I, I think we all kind of expected they would do it at some point, but like it had been so long since Half-Life 2 Episode 2, which I haven't played the episodes. I can't say I'm actually a huge Half-Life fan. I'm not a hater. I'm just a, eh. It's not my thing. But I do respect it. By the way, speaking of that, organically, uh, the Black Mesa uh, game, which is the Half-Life 1 remake, which ended up actually getting... Uh, noticed by Valve and actually endorsed and can be sold which I think has got to be one of the coolest like modding success stories of all time uh, and that it turned into an actual like fucking project um, but they just released a mod that or no they just released an update for Black Mesa out of nowhere that like overhauled controller support it has a new version of Vulcan the shader pipeline like it's kind of crazy um, yeah, I think Half-Life 2 is a great game. I personally, the gameplay loop for me is just not, it's just kind of not my thing. Like, I don't like the puzzles. I just don't. And it's not like there's a lot of them. I just was like, eh. Um, but I have played Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Um, now I do, I, you know, I do like that they're making the Half-Life 2 RTX. That, that's cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, Black Mesa was sick, but now that they've updated it again, I did buy it. Uh, by the way, guys, I think it's still on sale for like $3.99 for Black Mesa, normally $20. Uh, and they just released that update. Because using a controller on the Black Mesa thing was not great, because the original Half-Life was never meant for that. It was mouse and keyboard, right? And so even the remake, like, man, it was, it was, it was not great using a uh, controller. Um, but they just overhauled the shit out of it, so... I would uh, recommend uh, trying it out because it's a uh, it, it's one of the most impressive like oh fuck my ass I hate spear guys like um, turning mod success stories up there with Counter Strike and Team Fortress yeah yeah it's honestly one of the best uh, the other one would be the uh, Fallout London I need to look into that more but it's such a shame that they had to delay their mod release because of that next gen whatever fucking half lot or uh, fallout update um which is such a shame that they didn't give them a heads up or anything because that is crazy impressive they literally have neil newbon as a voice actor in fallout uh london are you kidding me they got that guy i mean that's just a full-on fucking game we can't even okay um uh, chat, I forgot about the lore. I forgot about the lore. I've been playing this game way too much with all the AI turned off. This can be real with you. More of a portal person. Yeah, so that's the thing. The people that like the puzzles in Half-Life, Portal is like the direct cocaine version of that. And I don't, I don't like that. Um, I respect Portal because I think it's great. Um, but my brain just does not work in that way. And so I go, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I'm a dummy and I don't like puzzles, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, how does the various 
particles work that show up on screen in different areas. Like an undead bird, there are leaves or something going across the screen. Yeah, I think that's, uh, those should just be SFXs um, that are then loaded with the, uh, you just set a region point uh, in Map Studio and then you tell it to connect to an SFX that you create and then you plug in the ID for that specific particle effect. And so in Dark Root Garden, they have one for fog and I was able to place like a bunch more of them. But yeah, that's, those should all just be handled by uh, particle effects that they create. Um, and DS2 does the same thing. It's pretty cool. So you're not playing the Riven remake? No. So when I was younger, I played Mist and Riven. And uh, I was terrible at them. So I never grew out of that. I was just dog shit. So um, I always really liked them, though. I thought they were really cool. Because uh, Knack 3 is a meme in Italy. Really? I've never played Knack. I like the uh, uh, Mark Cerny. He's obviously brilliant. And uh, one of the smartest people ever, probably. Um, like, he's such a... He's so cool in that he's not an employee of Sony. But he legit, like, was the lead designer on the PS4. The whole system architect for the PS4 and PS5. Like, and he's not even an employee of Sony. That's so cool. How baller do you have to be to have that job? And you go, nah, I don't need to be employed by you. Don't worry about it. Like, that's really cool. Uh, he's also just really smart and passionate, so. I know some people will make it into, like, console war stuff, but no. He's just really cool. He used to help my mom with the puzzles when I was little. Yeah. There's just some people that are really good at them. And they're obviously just fantastic games. I did play, like, an hour of the Portal RTX. Because I'm such a... Oh, oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this. So this is an example where the tiling is set differently for this Boletaria texture. So it's actually, like, it's uh, there's more of them. More squares per... It's more dense. You, you know what I mean. They're tiling it more. I didn't... I, I don't know. I've been talking too much. What's your opinion on Doom Eternal and the Doom franchise? Yeah, so the Doom Doom franchise, specifically if you like, you know, sort of separate it to Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal being the modern ones, obviously. Uh, I have more time playing Doom 3. That's the Doom that I played more of, because uh, I would use it as a PC benchmark, and I was really, I've always loved id tech, you know? Like, that engine's just fucking awesome. Um, Doom Eternal, I have played some. I've played like a couple hours. It's not really for me. Um, I think it's maybe just as I've gotten older, I'm less interested in first person shooters and first person games in general, which is kind of weird to me. Um, I've kind of grown apart from them because I used to be a big Elder Scrolls person, which of course you could play those third person, but I commonly played them first person. Um, and then I was a big Halo person, uh, Call of Duty, I did enjoy there for a while, you know, the story mode, which is like, I'm like one of like three people that have ever played a Call of Duty campaign. Bitch. Ass. Okay. Um, perfectly scaled tiles. Yeah, they look, they, they look great. Like this Bulletaria texture, it fits so well, because these leaves are actually part of the Undead Berg, uh, decals that they're using. Um, but it fits perfectly with the, like, grassy portions of the Boletaria texture. It's really cool. I want to use more Demon Souls textures when possible. Because, like, this Boletaria one was actually really high quality. Uh, it was equivalent to DS1 quality. Have you worked on the DLC? Yes, I have. Um, I don't touch it terribly often. Um, but, yeah, it, it does have new textures or upscale textures and altered lighting and... Uh, I need to go back and adjust more of it. Because it's got some weird lighting setups with, like, what lighting IDs it uses. And, like, it fucking looks weird. And I don't know. I, I found the DLC to be, like, a time sink anytime I do go to work on it. There's just some really weird setups that they used for, uh, like, the sanctuary. And then, I don't know. Every time I do it, I end up, like, fucking something up. Dude, you're, you're stacked, bro. Yeah, no. Oh, bitch ass. Give me your steel armor. Okay, or just a tight night shirt. That's fine, too. Um, it's a meme from some YouTubers who never understood why they made a sequel. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, they made Knack too, and like I don't think Knack ever sold terribly well, but it was cool. Um, if getting old makes you move away from. Oh no, I don't mean that as like a general principle of people getting older and moving away from first person shooters. Oh no, no, I think you can play any game, any genre at any age for sure. Um, that was just a personal experience for me. Um, I just, I've, I've, it's not even like a conscious thing. I just have kind of moved away from being interested in him. Uh, does he have a chance of dropping his armor? He technically does. Um, it's very rare. But I've gotten some steel armor off him. Very seldomly, though. Unless I gaslit myself, I don't know. But also, I'm really proud of this little change here. Is that in the, the unmodded game, they have this interior set to a completely different like light ID and fog ID. And it looks like absolute dog shit. Like, there's literally a, a dividing line here. Which there still kind of is, but it's a lot less like noticeable because there was one. It was like super. Uh, I think it was like super bright here, and then like super fucking dark. But then the elevator is like bright, and that's just in the unmodded game. It took me a long time to fix that. The statue seems a little bright. Yes, that is true. I need to double check the lighting ID I used on that because they were commonly always set to their own lighting ID separate from the uh, other objects and map pieces. And it so it ended up making them look kind of fucking weird because I'd forget to alter that one too. All right, we made it back to Firelink and we have 3,500 souls. Okay, nice. Um, so like in every Souls game, including ER, my build is always strength, dex, parry, everything build. Am I playing these games right or am I just cheese fest? I'm a mouse and keyboard enjoyer. Oh, I I admit I, I've always found it weird the people that play the games with mouse and keyboard because like obviously these games are not designed around that. They are very much designed around a controller. And I've tried playing with keyboard and mouse and I fucking hate it on Dark Souls games. I have no issue playing keyboard and mouse on like, you know, shooters or whatever. It's fine. But like playing them on Souls games, oh my God, I fucking hate it. So if anyone can do it, Hell yeah, like go for it. Um, but no, I wouldn't say you're playing them wrong. Honestly, for me, I can only really parry effectively in TS1. I fucking suck at parrying in TS3 and Elden Ring because they changed the parry timing and holy shit. Mouse and keyboard Souls games, yeah, Trivia would say that. PC Master Race uh, person. <laughs> I like it, it's designed around a controller. And the keyboard with the keys, like, I'm sorry, the movement is just so much more fluid. And, and, and yeah, I, I, I respect those that play it with mouse and keyboard. I think it's an extra challenge mode. Um, but, like, ugh. it's not even, like, the default binds. I mean, those are bad, too. Don't get me wrong. But, like, the way that movement works, I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate how it's so, like, stilted. and Because you you're using, like, you know, either WASD or whatever or the aerial keys. But, like, the way that you move is just so much more, like, uh, uh, directional. And with, you know, an actual thumbstick, it's just, I don't know, man. It's so much better. Uh, but, you know, hats off to those that play with keyboard and mouse. I'm just like, man, I don't know. That's uh, it's not my favorite. But I respect those that do. Uh, I'm not even a PC Master Race person. You say that? But then you also harp on like high refresh rate for everything. And if that isn't the most PC Master Race thing uh, of all time. So not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, sometimes you got to be a frame rate snob, you know? I'm not really. Sekiro mouse and keyboard? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That is bananas. I've never even once contemplated that that's a possible thing. I can't imagine playing Sekiro with that. Like, my brain breaks thinking of that. It's so, there's so much, like, movement in that game. I feel like I'd be using, like, a, I don't, I don't know, man. I feel like I'd be using two potatoes to play the game. Maybe it's that I've just moved away from keyboard and mouse in general. As I've gotten older, I've just more and more fallen in love with controllers. Like, 
because obviously mouse and keyboard is always going to be better for precision for sure but i don't really care about that i don't play games i guess that are too reliant on precision and like Sekiro, you have to be precise but i think with Sekiro, for me at least it's more so just down to the timing it's not really about the movement uh, and the fidelity of uh, how precise like the, the, the movement of the camera is, right? Uh, it's more so just the parry timing. And so I think on controller, it's perfectly fine. AC is the only one. Assassin's Creed? Armored Core? Okay, Armored Core. I'm going I'm to go with that. Secure actually sounds better on mouse and keyboard. I don't fucking... Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, are those barrels floating? No, nah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. The directionality, like that, that kills it for me. I, I can't, I can't get past that. I, 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 I respect those that can, but I, I fuck, I fucking can't. Um, unless you play like Perma Unlocked, yeah. I don't trust those people. I don't trust the Perma Unlocked people. <laughs> I'm like, mm, no. Uh, don't knock it till you tried it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, do you, honestly, playing Dragon's Dogma 2, it... I, I've been ruined by Souls games to when I go play games that don't have a lock on or a dodge roll. I go, ooh, man, this feels like ass, bro. Um, although I like the combat in Dragon's Dogma 2. It just was so different. Um, but I was trying to play Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Give me a goddamn dodge roll. I swear to God. Give me a dodge roll. I can't fuck. I hate combat in that game. Uh, it's so bad. Uh, currently working on making Dark Souls in Minecraft. Oh, shit. That's awesome. I remember one of the videos you told about a website where you could view the areas digitally. Thanks for that. Oh, yeah. the Yeah, I don't even remember what that's called, but yeah. It's a really cool thing that you can view it digitally in, like, all the maps. and um, I can't remember what that was called. It was really awesome. Uh, Claymore plus one, yes. Claymore plus two, yes. Um, I've been re-watching a Dark Souls 1 playthrough uh, by Andy Cortez, and it's really, like, entertaining. The one thing I wish people wouldn't do on their first playthroughs is get like a really sick ass weapon like a black knight weapon because it does trivialize a lot of the game it really does where are the iframes yeah i it's not even i just want like i mean i guess it's the iframes yeah i i just even if it was a shittier dodge roll I like, and not to mention Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I get that it's amazing, and like, but I, I will admit I'm in the category of like, I don't get it. Like, I, I think they're good games, but I've been pretty bored by Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I tried, man. I've tried like six times. I, I just, I can't do it. I'm bored to death. I don't like the combat. I was looking around the world, and man, I don't know. I Tears of the Kingdom, I found it pretty empty. Like, and the loot I was getting was like ass, and I'm just like, I don't get it. I, I'll be real here, I don't get it. <laughs> and I'm in the minority. Um, that stuff is just not their fault. I guarantee 90% of DS2 players were drinking. Like, it's true. Well, exactly. For first-time players, it's totally not their fault, because they have no idea. They have, you know, they have no idea of, like what weapon is going to trivialize um, the playthrough. So I guess more so it'd, it'd be an issue with, like, from software. I'd be like, dude, I don't think you guys should be letting... Because it's just... The the amount of damage that... Like, it totally ruined the Gargoyles fight. Because you could just absolutely melt one Gargoyle in, like, five seconds. And it was like, damn. Because I like that the Drake Sword... Like, you had to know that you could even get that. Like, or stumble upon cutting off the fucking tail. And the Drake Sword could trivialize stuff, but, like, it was such a rare, like, opportunity of getting it if you didn't know you could get it. Um, so Phoenix Rising I also tried, and I just was like, oh, it's a lot of puzzles. And I respect that, and I think it's a good game, but for me personally, I'm not a puzzle person. So I was like, fuck this, I don't... I don't. And it's such a shame, too, because they were the team that did Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 
and I can't play Odyssey as much anymore because Dark Souls has ruined me. Yeah, that is too bright. Um, but it's my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Um, and in many ways, you know, perhaps people would consider it not an Assassin's Creed game. But um, you're not alone, despite their review scores and how much the fans rave about them. I do believe they're some of the worst Zelda games. I do think there's actually a pretty big, like, number of people that are, like, classic Zelda fans. Um, Phoenix is a slop game? I would I don't agree it's a slop game. I think it's, like, I think it was a fine game, and I like the humor in it. You know, and I thought they had passion behind the project. And, like, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think of it as a slop game. Just the same for me. It's just not, not my jam, you know. Um, I like Witcher 3 combat. I gotta be real with you. I like The Witcher 3. But I fucking hate that combat. <laughs> I loved playing that game back in 2015. But... After that, I've played so many other games that have better combat, and I fucking hate The Witcher 3 combat. Like, I really hate it. Um, I, like, I feel like Geralt is spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning, doing so much spinning instead of fucking hitting enemies. I hate it. It's my biggest downside of playing Witcher 3. I, I like so much of the rest of it. I don't think slop games are bad. I just mean when they do the same thing. Oh, yeah, it it, it did do that. Uh, it was very, like, okay, I fucking get it, man. It's all about puzzles, dude. Like, that's great, but hey, it's not my jam, you know? Uh, Age of Empires? Oh, what's your opinion on RTS? Because I had an intense pang of nostalgia, and I've been playing a lot of Warcraft 3. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, RTSs when I was a kid. Not a kid, but like, you know what I mean, like early teenager, I think. Uh, that was kind of my jam. Age of Empires 1, 2, uh, Age of Mythology, I really liked. I was really into them. And then, at some point, I grew out of them, for me personally, and I've never thought about them again. It's one of those genres that I feel like hasn't aged terribly well. And I think you can tell that... Oh, I also like StarCraft and Warcraft, obviously. Um, I think it's a genre that... Oh, fucking bitch-ass Oh, okay. Okay, well, you know what? All right, fucking sniper mother... Okay, I'm also just being really stupid. Um, I think it's a genre that has massively shrunk in audience size. Like, it used to be much bigger than it is now. I think now it's seen as, like, a super side kind of genre. And like I, you know, I have no issue with that. I, I, I would prefer that if it was super popular. I don't, I, you know, I have no problem with that. I think it. I'm just saying, like the larger movement of players away from it. Um, and it does remind me of sort of an older era of gaming. You know, oh, oh, that was clutch. Um, ever tried the Kingsfield games? Um, I've tried. I think I tried the most recent one that was on PS2. Uh, damn, I didn't like it. It, like, it was brutal. It, it, it was just a hard, like, they say the Souls games are janky, but god damn, I, and Kingsfield are obviously the predecessor of Dark Souls. And I couldn't do it. Like, I tried. I mean, I can't say I tried that hard, but it was bad. I just, it was slow, and, like, I died in two seconds, and I went, what the fuck just happened? I don't know. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Ubisoft. Yeah, I, I think people also apply that a bit too much to Ubisoft as of late. Like, obviously they're guilty of that. Um, but they've also been, like, applying that to that Prince of Persia, Metroidvania, that came out. By all accounts, that's a great game. But a lot of people were judging it just because it was published by Ubisoft. And I'm like, you know what? I get that Ubisoft has historically sucked major ass. But can we, like treat them all separately on their own merits and like that game got unfairly maligned for being a Ubisoft game when in reality it's totally fucking not like it's published by them but I don't know I just I wish we had more nuance on that um yeah the crew was kind of like a fun 7 out of 10 kind of thing I really dig the did they shut down the crew 2 or was it the crew 1 that got delisted recently uh 
Luna said, yeah, I need to try that. I know. I totally need to try that because I know that's the spiritual like successor um, and uh, love letter to Kingsfield. And uh, I did watch Iron Pineapple's video on Kingsfield. That was really cool. Fair, that one was good. Yeah, I mean, that one was good. I think they've been... Uh, and then like Assassin's Creed Mirage is not one I've played because personally, I've kind of aged out of the classic Assassin's Creed games. Um, I enjoyed Assassin's Creed 2... I enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 1, not really. That was too rough around the fucking edges. Um, but I, I, I had a lot of fun with them. Uh, and then Origins, man, I just couldn't get into that. But Odyssey, I fucking loved. Valhalla was just a big barf bag. I fucking hated it. I hated Valhalla. Um, went to Kingfield. Oh, so fun fact, I did actually download the mod tools, the official like development tools for Kingsfield, because I was like, you know what, that'd be kind of fun, right? Um, yeah, that's like, it's really hard to like, there's not much documentation on it, so I'm like, nah, make the camera move with the right analog stick. Okay, yeah, that is a problem with um, some of those games. Yeah, they, from software, pretty far behind on uh, some of the Armor Core games, right? Some of the earlier ones were like, oh my god, it's so fucking bad to control because they wouldn't use like the thumbstick at all. They were stuck on the old uh, pre dual shot. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Oh, I don't even have... I forgot. I don't even have the, the HUD on, so I can't even see the boss health. This is awesome. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, shit in my ass. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I also can't really hear the sound, because I, I I'm not wearing headphones or anything. So I didn't even hear the, the other gargoyle arrive at all. Oh, this is bad. Also, I usually do this on fast roll because uh, mid-roll fucking sucks uh, ass. Okay, you know what? Okay. Hey, can you guys both not do fire? Like, that's, that's, that's rude. I think we can all agree. That's fucking rude shit. Hey, are you the one? Low health? Yeah, you are, because I cut your tail off. Or no, both have their tail cut off. So the second one just comes down with his tail cut off. Or no, does he have his tail? I can't see. Yeah, they both have their tail cut off. That's weird. Is that, like, contextual? Okay, well, I didn't think you were going to do the goddamn overhead. Okay, well, now I don't know which one's which. I would prefer if you, the second one, like, kept your tail. Cause... Okay, bro. Now you're spamming. Like, I think you know you're fucking spamming. Oh, holy shit, I actually... I think I'm gonna first try this bitch. Oh my god, holy shit. I did. Look at that. I usually have trouble on the gargoyles. To be honest with you. That was the view from the gargoyles boss. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I gotta fix... I think there's a view over there. There's like a mesh hole that I gotta fix. But I think it's generally pretty good. Uh, that flickering is in the unmodded game to a certain degree. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh. That distant portion does not look good. Uh, all right. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this is a dumb question, but I forget. Is this awesome mod of yours for the original Dark Souls on PC or the remastered version? It is for the remastered version. Although you're in luck, I also have a mod for the Prepare to Die edition. Uh, it doesn't have as many things in it, but it does feature better textures and dynamic shadows, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So you can download whichever one you want. Or you can download just my texture mod for Dark Souls Remastered. Or you can download just my Darkness mod for Dark Souls Remastered. If you can't tell, I make too many mods. Um, for sure. Uh, the one with the shield is the first one. Oh, good call. Well, for the first time I played DS1, I didn't know about different roles until... Yeah, so some people go even like way later. And they go, wait that's a fast roll and they go oh my god it's game changing the fast roll is like the fast roll is too good in dark souls 1 i'm glad they'll never change it obviously but it's too good oh this is the cutscene that like how does this cutscene look god damn it since fortress doesn't show up okay the bottom part of that doesn't show up um I miss the running attacks used to do more damage. Oh, yeah, I can see that. 
Now, I don't actually know why Sense Fortress is not showing up in that uh, cutscene because I very specifically have gone to make duplicates of the map pieces that match up with the uh, the fakes that they had. I actually made sure that I had duplicates that match those draw groups, and that's how that's handled. So I don't really know why there's no Sense Fortress in that cutscene. I don't know. Oh, it might be map piece based rather than draw group based. I just realized that. Fuck, okay. That's an easy fix. That's kind of annoying because that means that cutscene will have a lower quality Sense Fortress. But, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, too much genius to make mods of. Well, I appreciate that, but nah. Yeah, you gotta make a DSRR mod. Yeah, I mean, yes, uh, that'll be the director's cut one, where I'll get to make a bunch of wonky fucking changes. Uh, like the Elite Knight set will be one of the starting armor sets. Fuck yeah. Hell, uh, absolutely. That set's too cool to not be a starter set. The Knight set, sorry, you're gonna you're gonna be put in the game somewhere, and that's that's it. Uh, bro. Bro makes mods like everyone eats chips. Can't get enough. I mean, yeah, I, I'll admit, I, I just can't stop making mods. I I just love it, and I don't ever want to not make mods. <laughs> oh, you're doing your little patrol, aren't you? you? You know, you're more likely to kill me than the gargoyles. Yeah, bitch. Let me just heal up here. Let me just heal up. All right. John Dark Souls set. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's John Dark Souls. Uh, ah, hey, bitch asses, drop some tight night shirts. That's what I request. Okay, all right. Well, this is bad. This is bad. Don't parry me, please. Don't embarrass me in front of my chat. He just tried to fucking parry me. Not in my house. I mean, technically, yes, in my house all the time, but not in this stream. Ooh, okay. Oh, baby. All right, two down. Oh, I disagree. Oh, fucking cock-ass, bitch-ass, taint-ass, hoe-ass. And he's got my souls. Have you finished up the other lower berg? Oh, yeah, no, that got... I, I kicked that out of the mod. Not because I didn't like it, but just because, like, the scope was too much, and I just was like, I can't think about that. I got enough issues. Um, I'm in fire links? Oh, no, that'll work. Okay, I'll just go up the elevator. That's um, Dark Souls, the remaster of the remastered, remaster, remaster. Yeah. Well, the next step is a remake. And that's where Illusory Wall was posting about that on Twitter. It's like saying, if they do it, uh, he was like, I would love to consult. And I'm in the same boat. I'm like, dude, whoever handles that remake, because it'll happen. Uh, I think it's inevitable. Uh, and I think it should happen, to be honest. Um... I would, I would give them every texture I've ever worked on. The amount of obscure things I've learned about Dark Souls 1 by working on it, I'll be like, let me help you out, homies. I'll make you a list, okay? I'll make you a list of all the things that you're going to run into, that you're going to have to fix. I got you. Uh, excuse me, that is not advertiser-friendly language. You're not wrong, Trivia. That's true. I, there are ads being run on this. Uh, also, if you don't know, every time I curse like that, it's a reference to a 90 Day Fiance episode. It's a it's a real like deep cut where this woman she's she's so dumb like she's just and it it doesn't matter that she's a woman. I, out of context, that sounds bad. I just mean in general, she's just a very dumb person. But that's also kind of like the whole concept of the show. If you haven't watched 90 Day Fiance. Um, but anyway, she got really pissed off at, like, her sister-in-law, and she was like, slut-ass, ho-ass, bitch-ass, ho-ass. And I just love that, sort of, it's stuck in my mind ever since. Um, Dark Souls about to get remade? Well, I mean, no, I mean, I don't know if it will, but, like, probably, right? I think it's the one that makes the most sense. Trivia and I were actually talking about a Dark Souls 2 remake and why that. I was saying that I don't think it's... I think that's a hard job. I don't know how you... 
I don't know how you do that because I think Dark Souls 2 is, is, is just 100% a product of its development. And I don't think you can fix that with a new development. Because, like, wh what do you go after? Do you go after what it was originally envisioned to be? How concrete are those plans? Do you just kind of freeball it? Or do you just remake the exact thing that we got? Which will make some people... Like, I don't know. I, I just don't... I don't know. I don't know how you do that. Dark Souls 1, I think, is a remake that just makes sense. Like, it's interconnected. It You literally just with modern rendering techniques, even if you just used an updated version, like the most modern version of the Dantelion engine, right? And you could just absolutely expand the scope of this game in the way that like, the, it's kind of what I've been doing through duct tape methods, right? But you could actually, if you do it for real and connect the area and update the render and oh my gosh, like Dark Souls 1, I think is just the perfect candidate because you don't need to alter the map like layout you don't need to alter anything it's very set in stone and i think it has the most agreed upon like view of it where people are like yeah dark souls one is great there i don't think there's as much of a divide with dark souls one um versus like dark souls 2 and dark souls 3 i include dark souls 3 in that because dark souls 3 there's enough people that are like i don't like dark souls 3 uh, it's just, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, Dark Souls 1 is just literally, you just fucking go ham on the graphics and, like, you're good. Like, that that's all you need to do. You don't, like, I don't think you need to really mess with anything else. You literally just need to go, oh, okay. So we just need to remake. Like, it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong. But you have the bones that are there and you just need to plus it up, you know? And, and it'd, be, it'd be fucking great. Uh, like, if you get it to the Demon Souls remake level of graphical fidelity, come on. And it's right there. All the areas accurately stitch together. When you load them all in one project together at the one time, they all slot in together, and there's a little bit of overlap here and there. But they all have an actual, like, origin point that makes sense, except for the Painted World. Don't worry about that. Northern Undead Asylum, those are separate. But everything else has an actual like anchor to each other area so you don't need to like mess with a lot of shit you just don't um and i think gameplay no i think you can do what demon souls remake did which is not really touch the gameplay that much it is what it is for better or for worse i don't think you need to make it into dark souls 3 you know uh, i like it for what it is and i like that dark souls 3 is different you know um, is it possible to add shadows on the actual character? Um, if I knew how to edit shaders, yes. Uh, I'm hoping I can just convince Altimore to keep updating his shader overhaul. <laughs> now that people are downloading his mod even more, hopefully. Um, they would just put DS2 and DS3 engine. I mean, yeah. I, I do think that's the biggest downside to Dark Souls 2 for me. But the problem is... The rest of the game is based around that. If, if you were to make the movement so much better in Dark Souls 2, and this goes for Dark Souls 1, if you make the movement and the speed and the frenetic nature of like Dark Souls 3, you need to adjust everything else to match that. So like the timings of enemies and bosses and just everything is centered around that. And you just, if you change that, that's why there's some mods that change that up too much. And it looks like it's in like fast, you know, it's like you're fast forwarding, right? It looks fucking, it's just, ugh. Adapt the combat system to modern souls. I don't think so. You could try to like, okay, let's take how the Elden Ring combat works. But then that means you got to rework all of the bosses. I personally think you should do what the Demon Souls remake did. And, and they use the AI and like the, the, a lot of the code for base Demon Souls. They just do the visual side, right? With their own graphics engine. But like the actual programming underneath, they're actually running the that code at the same time to ensure that it feels the same, right? Uh, and I think that's that's core to it. I think you really, uh, and obviously, if I had my preference, it would be like the Halo One Anniversary Edition, which was essentially a remake, um, but it was running the other code underneath it, and so you could switch back and forth. Uh, and I think for game preservation, that's actually pretty important where 
if they do a demon or dark souls one remake i think you should be able to swap back to what dark souls one like originally looks like now it's not going to be perfect uh with the way that like the different rendering technology works and like so you kind of make it look close to what the old game looks like in terms of geo and textures and whatnot but are you going to perfectly replicate it no um or you just make it easy and you just bundle it with like dark souls remastered or something and just give them a key for that so that way if they want to play that they can and it's still around what the fuck was i doing i've been talking too much oh i have a lot of souls that's right imagine ds1 with ds2 combat no nah, i'm good no i see no reason for that i don't like ds2 combat even if i didn't consider it a step down i don't consider it a step up i think it's i mean it's a side grade at best you know hardest boss in ds1 oh that's easy for me that is manis hardest base game boss um yeah probably gwen i mean gwen you can just kind of parry him but if you fuck up, he makes you pay for it. Um, I tried to play Dark Souls 2 again, played it like seven years ago, and I just couldn't. The textures, even with mods, are flat and bland. When you hit something, it feels clunky. And Yeah, I mean, so Dark Souls 2 suffers from a pretty bad uh, controller dead zone by default. It's not great. Uh, I think the combat lacks a lot of feedback, for sure. There are times I get hit and I go, well, I don't know what that was, but I lost health, so cool. Um, one thing that did help is like raising the controller vibration up to 100%. Uh, that did help. Does anyone know what happened to the DS2 mod Flames of Old? Um, yeah, no, he's still working on it. Uh, Stayed, uh, you can actually follow him on Twitch and Twitter. He streams uh, the development of that mod quite a bit. I have no idea where he's at on the mod. Um, oh, I mean, Capra is definitely up there. I think Capra is dependent on when you get to him. If you go there early, yikes, that's going to be rough. Um, you can go around the stalagmites. You can, true. Um, Manus, I mean, okay, yes. Bed of bed of bullshit is not great. I, I, I guess I don't consider it hard. I consider it just strictly bad. <laughs> it's just, it's just bad. And Miyazaki's talked about it. Like, it's just bad. They know it. Uh, it's one of the things in DS1 you can definitely go, that's not great. That's just not great. Um, personally, and like I say this, I feel I have the authority to say this because I live in DS1 basically and I've spent over a thousand hours modding it. I don't particularly enjoy the second half of DS1 uh, even close to as much as I enjoy the first half. Like, I think the first half is fucking awesome and amazing. And then I think it just, man, that second half just doesn't hold up for me as, as much. Um, it's just like, eh. Because obviously it moves over to not being interconnected as much anymore because you kind of just go off into those areas and get the Lord Souls. And you get fast travel, which I think is very, like, anti-DS1. I mean, I say anti-DS1, but it was obviously in DS1. Now, you can't warp to every bonfire. But you can warp to a good amount of them. And I don't know. I feel like DS1, the special thing, was when you didn't have fast travel. FromSoft should have just ported DS2's lighting engine into remastered DS1. I mean... I mean, that, that's, that's obviously easier said than done. Like, they are different rendering engines. And the whole setups. And, like, QLock did do great work in updating the rendering engine for Dark Souls 1 um, on a technical level. Like, it's clustered forward rendering, it's it's the optimization, it's fucking awesome, and like normal maps for everything, spec maps for everything, uh, parallax occlusion mapping, uh, uh, you know, temporal anti-aliasing, and, and then the uh, reflections are higher quality, the planar reflections, and so the also the particle effects are so much better than Prepare to Die Edition, except for the Bonfire. Um, and then they did the vertex, you know, uh, shaders for the actual like movement of the foliage, and so they, like I don't know, I think Remaster gets a little bit too much hate, where it's like, all right, let's let's all chill out. I've modded Prepare to Die Edition. I think what QLock didn't get to is 
actually authoring the assets in the way that benefits the changes that they made. I think they ran out of time and they weren't able to properly adjust the assets to the PBR uh, system that they set up. Um, yeah, it feels like the specular and the albedo lighting isn't even aligned. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I mean, honestly, by default, they, they didn't, they're almost not even using their spec maps. Like a lot of them are, are just there. Like they're, they're, they're basically being unused. So, um, and I think that's because they just ran out of fucking time. So, yeah, I mean, that's true. There are some of the, I think from a, I guess I'm talking about on a fidelity level, the particle effects are better in remastered. Now from a subjective point of view of if I like them visually, I admit, I like some of the prepare to die ones better, um, for sure. Uh, what was this mod he made specifically? What was this mod he made specifically? Maybe that's something you can alter with draw params. Yeah, I mean, you can adjust the overall specular level that is, uh, yeah, I mean, you can adjust the overall specular level and the diffuse level, and you can sort of, like, change those, and unfortunately, it it doesn't look good when you raise the spec level too high, and that's why there's a difference in the remastered. If you compare Prepare to Die Edition versus Remastered in their light ID setups, they always, always absolutely lowered the map spec levels by, like, twice or 100%. Like, they just lowered them. They cut them down. And I realized that's because, boy, with all the cube map work they did, like, that shit starts looking weird, and it looks hard on the eyes, and it's just a completely different uh, setup. So, yeah, leaving a ton of stuff unused is just completely 100% authentic to FromSoft. So, um, yeah, I, I don't... There are obviously things that they updated that I don't fully understand. The bonfire one, I'm assuming they wanted to get closer to DS3. The fog wall, closer to DS3. The aesthetic, closer to DS3. I think that's generally... I think that's the idea. Was That was the last one that was out. It was pretty recent at that point. I mean, within a year or two. So... I totally get it, you know? Uh, have you played Arch Thrones? Uh, I played like an hour, and uh, it, it was fine. Uh, I mean, impressive from a mod perspective, obviously. I just was like, eh. I didn't, I didn't feel like pushing forward, because like some of the uh, enemy layouts I thought were a little, oof, all right. Um, and it, it, like there were certain areas that were like, yeah, but what if there were six Lothric Knights? And I'm like, yeah, okay, but that that sucks, man. That, that's rough. Um, uh, but then why did DS3 change the bonfires? I mean, D the DS3 bonfire, I feel like, is pretty bland looking. Um, the DS2 bonfire, I think, is pretty fucking bland looking too. So I feel like DS1 Prepared to Die Edition is the only one that has a cool looking bon bonfire. Man, this link doesn't work. Wait, what link? Oh, the link for early DS3 something. Uh, I'm currently on 0 0.92. Is it a bug that after the rafter section near the Valley of Drakes is literally pitch black? Is that the rafter section near Valley of Drakes? I'm trying to remember what that is. Rafter section. Uh... I would update to the most recent version, and then it's hard to remember if I... I've fixed most of the pitch blackness, to be honest. The funny thing about the DS3 bonfires is that it isn't even a unique VFX. It's literally the same texture that's used for most magic. Oh, yeah. I was trying to link the old DS3 bonfire. Oh, oh, the link's not work in my YouTube chat? I don't know how that works. I don't know how you... Like, where the elevator is in... Why am I completely, <laughs> why am I, oh, oh, got it, 
Yes. I think that's fixed in 0 0.93, but I will I will double check. Uh, yeah, I exactly. I don't get why they changed the bonfire like from the DS1. But like the Dark Souls 2 bonfire I think looks bland as fuck. I don't I don't think it, So I can't blame Qlock cuz like FromSoft themselves went to a more fucking boring bonfire. So like I don't know. I kind of get why they would change it if the original creators ended up moving to a different looking one too. I don't agree with it, but like from a development standpoint and just making decisions on what to change and what not to, I could totally see why you would look at Dark Souls 2 and 3 and go, well, shouldn't we take some inspiration from that, you know? Um, it does work if you copy and paste it. Oh, really? Okay. Interesting. Um, oh my god, I'm getting an ad on my own stream. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'll get money for this. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a quick thing of food. So, hold on.
Predators have been exposed to Joker gas. What did I miss? Where is the Mod Man? Mod Man is here. Mod Man is back. Didn't know there was a 9.3 version. Yeah, I assume that fixed it. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I need to focus. Level up. I'm going to be a little bitch. <laughs> and level up health and endurance. Okay. Mm hmm. Welcome back, Mod Man. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom Blunt. <laughs> Marvel's like, write that down. Write that down. Dr. Doom Blunt. Uh, absolutely. And is the next uh, Thanos. Um, okay. So I did that. I need to go to Blight Town. That doesn't sound great. Um, but I can do it. I probably shouldn't. I should probably go through the, the depths because I fucking hate the depths and that'll be funnier. Who's the mod man? I'm the mod man. Are they the best mods? No. Are they mods? Technically. Alright, bitch ass. I'm so going the basic bitch run on this. Oh, oh man, I would like the Grass Crush Shield. Shit, I'm just thinking about it. No, that'd be too basic bitch, right? I need to switch it up. I need to not go Claymore. Okay, what, do, what do I got? Do I got something more interesting up in this bitch? Oh, okay. Let me... Maybe I'll try. I don't like the tail axe, but, like, I need... I need this to be a more interesting run. <laughs> I know this is a pretty big ask, but is... Yeah, anyway, you can make the Google Drive links public. I... It's one of those where, like, I do that because I, I do want my Patreon to be valuable. And I think that's admittedly one that is something that gives it a bit of value. And so it's kind of a win-win for me where, like, I pay for more Google storage. Not that it costs a whole lot. It doesn't. I need to up my... I need to actually pay for even more, actually. Um, I just said actually, like, 16 times. Um... Yeah, it's it's one where, like, they're kind of... I mean, the Nexus... I got to admit, the Nexus mod speed, I don't think is that slow. And I use the slow speed. Like, I don't even pay for premium. I think I can get free premium because I'm a mod maker who had a certain amount of downloads or whatever. I just have never done it. But I'll admit, I don't actually think they're that bad. I don't know if it's, like, country-specific, but for me, I don't have a huge issue downloading the, at the slow speeds like I don't I think maybe it's an expectation thing but I don't I don't know I don't I don't have a huge issue um, with the speed it could be faster but like if it's like a 40 minute download I go okay I mean that's fine I'll go make a sandwich or something um, but I totally get where you're coming from um, did you put the torches back in the asylum I did maybe patrons could get newer versions early or something so I've stayed away from doing that because I didn't I didn't want to punish people for not subscribing to the Patreon, if that makes sense. Um, I think he already does this for patrons. No, I, I, I don't. Um, 1.5 hour download? Jesus Christ, really? Ooh, all right. Yeah, I know you have to pay for faster, but like, I don't know. I found the base speed to be pretty okay, but then again, I remember being a kid and having the goddamn slowest speed in the fucking world, and so if I even wanted to like watch a trailer, oh my, it's terrible. So I think I, I perhaps I just come from that world where I have pretty low expectations for, for speeds. Um, I also think Nexus Mods Premium is pretty like cheap. And that's admittedly a much better deal than paying for my <laughs> Patreon, because obviously that's only for my mods. So, and next is Mods Premium. People would probably get a lot more use out of that. Um, oh yeah, I should go up the ladder. Um, great work on the mod so far, man. Are you going to port the textures from DS1 Texture overall to your Prepare to Die Edition mod? Ah, Colin Wong, uh, good news. 
those mod, uh, a lot, basically all of those textures uh, originate from prepare to die anyway. Um, so easy peasy. Uh, they're already there. Although there are a lot, well, there's a decent chunk I've done since then where I took them from prepare to die and ported them, upscaled them, but I never brought them back to prepare to die. So there is some of that. Yes. That axis texture. Yeah, this one did get up. Ah, fucking shit. Oh my god. Did you, did you climb up the ladder or did you, did you come from over here? I think I broke the parallax here. I think I broke the parallax because this one had parallax occlusion mapping on the ground here. Um, I think I broke that. I got to look at that. I was watching someone play through the game and I noticed that. And I was like, oh shit. I think I swapped that texture at some point and I fucked something up. Uh, my download took three to four hours. Woof. I noticed that sometimes your hair... Yeah, that heart emoji thing really just covers the fuck. I bought premium when I had a bunch of expendable income. Yeah, I, I think it's like... Five dollars? Like, I don't think it's... I've paid for it before, and I don't think it was that much money, so... Um, but but I get that, you know, it'd be nice if there were Google Drive mods or links for everything. But I don't know. It, it's kind of the, I haven't found a perfect way of like, I want to have benefits for Patreon people because I really, you know, value that. And it helps a lot. But I don't want to give like early access to stuff because I would just be artificially punishing people who don't subscribe to it because that's just not how my mod development works. Like. If it's ready, it's ready. And I just don't want to, like, I don't even want to have to think of that, you know? Um, I don't want to have to think of, like, oh, okay, so I uploaded that to Patreon three days ago. Okay, so now let me, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I have for, have it for life. Oh, really? And Undead Berg is beautiful. Yeah, Undead Berg looks good. It's the one I've struggled with the most. Um, it's really hard to port over the Prepare to Die Edition lighting for this because it, uh, it, it just doesn't, it's not one-to-one. -one. Um, it's just not. Um, okay. Oh, I should have, I guess I'll go back to Andre. I kind of, I think this will take Twinkling Titanite to update or upgrade this weapon. Yeah, this fucking the heart emoji thing on the live chat. Like, are you kidding me? Fucking get that off there. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, yeah, let's head this way. Did I? Oh, oh yeah. So, oh, they already have the gate closed. God damn it. I was hoping they had it open again and I could like do the quick run through. Bitches. Yoink. Yoink. Okay. All right, I'm going to do speed run strats tracking shots get okay. all right we're going up the ladder i always wonder what estes tastes like i mean i think canonically it is sunny d or mountain dew uh, uh what was the uh, mountain dew live wire that's what i was thinking of it's either one of those if you press that too much streamer has a heart attack okay okay i had a good run I made it to 33, so. Oh, I don't like how this looks. <laughs> the tiling is smaller, and then they go, oh, it big again. Ooh, don't like that. Oh, there it is. I don't like that. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the tiling and see if I can match it between. Oh, fucking shit ass bitch. Tank mother. Yeah, bitch ass. Um, gets forced to beat. I mean, I could use it. That's true. I do have an irregular heartbeat, so I feel like that's probably not going to make things better. But it's already bad, so I, I... Dude, what the fuck? You, you hoofed it? You, oh, I need the basement key. Oh, shit, my ass and the bitch. Oh, no, 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 you did not. You fucking did not. That was crazy. You chained that together. That's unfair. That's unfair. Uh, entrance near the hollow room in the bridge? Yes. I've been meaning to fix that at some point. It's literally just a collision thing. 
If I just update the collision that's right there, the camera will no longer go through the geo, but... It's such a small thing that, like, almost no one notices, so I have to, like, keep that in mind. Um, I'm like, oh, okay. No one cares. I wonder if I sit at the bonfire. Do they open the gate again? No. I guess that's just, like, the one-time thing. Hmm. Yeah, he got me. He got me fucking good. That, it was, I was pro strats there. I, I'm so bad at going through this little cave here, or little inside area. I'm so bad. I've always been bad at it, and I always will be bad. There's no in-between. I just, I do not handle multiple enemies well in, in Souls games. Now, DS1 handles multiple enemies vastly better than DS2 does. DS2 just goes, yeah, what if they all just attack you at once and have group think? Which, is that more realistic? Yeah, probably. Kind of. I don't know. They're they're too aligned in their in their uh their strats. And DS1 enemies have this really crafty way of like I think it's like a ticketing system where they kind of like hover behind and then take a swipe and then sometimes they'll both attack you but not all the times. Like DS2 is just very like one note where they were literally just always in one mode which is attack 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 attack, attack you know. And DS1's AI is just I think it's just better implemented. Uh, thank you, Dark Souls moment. Yeah. Yeah, he got me. Do you have a day job? No, well, I mean, ish, kind of. I get money from, like, YouTube and then uh, mod downloads, and then I do user testing as well. And so I just test prototypes for companies, and we do Zoom calls sometimes. And so it's kind of a hodgepodge, realistically. You know, I really don't want to fight you. I'm going to be real with you. I disagree. I hit you. We can, you can agree with me. I fucking hit you, bro. That was, un you're a four hitter? You're a five hitter? Wait, are you just like a guy who ate a lot of creatine? Like, what the fuck? Why did you just have more health out of nowhere? There's actually a hollow that will spawn sometimes that will close the gate again. Yeah, okay. Because I know the guy that closes the gate, but like. I thought he did it later. Like, I don't know. They're doing it before I'm even, like, in that fucking area. Okay. I gotta heal, because I don't know where my health's at. And, uh, I'm just gonna... Hey, what's up, big dog? Yep. See ya. Later, nerd. I gotta grab my souls. Thank you. Thank God it's not like Lords of the Fallen, or at least when it first came out, where you had... There was, like, this long animation when you were picking up your souls, and it had, like, no iframes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I genuinely didn't believe it. He starts an undead bird. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the guy run and, like, close the lever, thing, or pull the lever, but I always thought it was a bit later. I could usually see him doing it. And now it's like, that shit just is closed. Oh, maybe I'm gabbing too much. That's probably what it is. Um, oh, Andre, yes. Can I upgrade my big fat axe? Uh, oh, the Boletaria texture's down here as well. Thank God. Uh, you seem to be doing all right. Yes, I agree. Oh, I don't have any tight net shirts. Um, okay. I'll get a couple. Uh, reinforced weapon. Oh, my God. Oh, I can do another Claymore. The claymore, uh, the claymore, I use too much, so I gotta, I gotta not, I gotta just not look at the claymore, okay? I can't look at the claymore. All right, look at that. Uh, do I have any pippity poppities? Uh, Lords of the Ballin. Got the new forgies on the jeep. I yeah, that game I. I tried. I gave it like 15 to 20 hours. Didn't like it. Did not like it. Uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? Yeah, I was looking for pippity poppities. Well, I haven't found any big bugs I need to fix in my mod, so that's probably a good sign. Oh, I do have a firekeeper soul. Okay. I haven't found anything I have to. Do not look that up. 
Okay, I will not look that up. I'll take your word on that one. I will not look that up. It's rare, though, because I only saw it twice out of 400 hours. Hmm, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe I've gotten really lucky. I don't know. I've, I've seen him go to close the gate pretty often. Well, I don't know. I, I'm in DS1 so much that, like, I'm, I, I'm losing perspective on... <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing perspective on things, to be honest. Um, okay, how many souls do I get? I think I can get another... Yeah. All right, we're plus three, baby. Um, oh, I didn't... I didn't get the basement key. I need to go out the front of the... I'll rest here, which is fine. Uh, just the bell cutscene, right? What was I talking about? Was I talking about... Was I talking about the bell cutscene? It's still kind of fucked up, but... Unfortunately, it's a real fucking bear to work on the cutscenes. Altering their draw parent Or, altering their... Well, yeah, I guess I am altering their draw parents. That's easy. Like, I, I found where those are at. That's That's not a big deal. Uh, choosing what is what is and what is not drawn in the cutscene. Uh, that is that is a bit of guesswork. I do not know where that is written down, or where that is documented. It is not in any spot I would think that it is. But basically, what I do is I look at an un unmodded version of the game, look at all the fake map pieces, and then duplicate meshes in my mod that then match up to those draw groups. So that way they show up, and that fixed the Firelink cutscene, um, mostly. But I think it might be map piece specific, because there's still certain things that are not showing up that totally should be showing up, um, but they're not. So, I don't know. You said no money. Oh, got it, Oreo. Got it. You are right. What about lava and demon ruins? Uh, I think it. I think it's fine. I'll have to... Oh, fuck. This dude's popping off. Oh, my God. I think he's got a controller with, like, a fucking back paddle or something. Oh, my God. Dude, you're insane. You are sick with no fucking way. Okay, all right. You can get better backstabs than I can get. That's clear. Okay, bud. Uh, I'm sure the lava's still pretty fucking... Dude. Okay, I was pretty. Oh, this is it for me. This is it for me. <laughs> oh no, this is. Uh, turns out, no, it is not it for me. Not yet. Dude, are you kidding me? This is this touch and go. Is it fucking shit? Oh my god. Am I going to clutch the shit out of this? Yes, I will. I wish they had made the back paddle uh, stuff baseline for dual sense. Uh, I'm pretty ignorant on the dual sense, really. I don't. All I know is it has all that, like, jazz and stuff, all that cool stuff. Uh, will you remove the dragon butts and Isolith? No, I mean, that's in the unmodded game, so I feel like, you know, there's no reason to remove them. They're just kind of hanging out, you know. Uh, you just, I mean, Isolith itself is a little goofy, but I also feel like the DSRR mod isn't the right vehicle for drastic change. I still need to play the Isolith mod by King Boar. I think it's prepared to die only, currently, maybe? I don't know. But it was cool. It's the three squad ball, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, rune sentinels, yeah. They can eat my ass. Uh, basement key. Yeah, I'm gonna put a note on this. Don't, 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 don't close this again. I opened it. I am the one who knocks. Mod man cannot be killed. Yeah, I, I have a hot key that turns on invincibility. Don't worry about it. Fun fact, people speculate Isolith was actually supposed to be a swamp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean the concept art. Yeah, for sure. And that's what that mod actually does. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not speculation at this point. Yeah, like, that is 
that is yeah that's that is that's the reality so uh isolith is half baked as fuck just by default you know yeah for real yeah yeah it it's just it is not what it was supposed to be um i personally think isolith is fine i think it gets a little bit too much hate i'm like it's fine like but that goes back to my thing of like, do I really like the second half of DS1? Even in the same stratosphere as the first half? No. Not really. If I'm completely honest. No. <laughs> I don't. Um, Alright, let's rest at this one. The first half is just, ugh, it's so good. I didn't, I didn't fucking see the concept art. Yeah, you should look it up, it's cool. No fucking way, the boar is in the bonfire room? I don't remember this. Okay, bitch ass. Oh, that that's a backstab. Oh, that's a backstab. That's another backstab. Oh, come on. That's the Bloodborne put your hand up his ass. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, come on. These are all backstabs. Okay, well, you're, you're kind of messing with my flow here. What? What is happening with this boar? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. Shit, man. God damn it. <laughs> They could have polished some of the undead dragons if it was actually a swamp. I mean, yeah, it's, I think what we got is like, they, they've had that. I mean, I, I feel like that's, that's, that's kind of their MO, right? It's like Demon Souls didn't have the sixth art stone. You know, they ran out of time and they're like, all right. And then Dark Souls won. They ran out of time. Um, he doesn't reset like normal enemies. Yeah, I mean, I know he's a non-respawning one, but I've never seen him leash this far. Um, I think that that's more so what I meant. Um, like, big dog, why, like, why, why haven't you leashed by this point? Normally he just gives up. There's still weird shit that I said, oh, fuck. Uh, like, the Dark Souls 1 AI, I think, is just, it's definitely one of the big, I think, things that are better about it than DS2. Even DS3, I don't know, because DS1, like in Undead Burg here specifically, I'm still having new encounters and new things happen after like 1400 hours in this game, not even counting Prepare to Die Edition. Like there's something about the enemy layout, the enemy AI and the way that it's structured here. I'm still seeing new things and new behaviors. And that's just crazy, you know? That's just crazy on a, on a programming level. That is just, that's, that's crazy. Uh, and I don't feel that same sense of, of uh, enemy placement uh, and sort of design like in DS2 or DS3, to be honest. I like that I still die in DS1. That, that's a lot of fun to me. I'm glad I haven't completely like Dark Souls 4, yes or no? I'd say no. Uh, Miyazaki has kept it open that if someone at From Software has a good idea for it, he's not against it. Um, but it's not going to be based on like Bandai Namco wants there to be a sequel. I think that was his point. Because DS3, that's why he ended it at DS3, or presumably it was that he's like, that's it. Okay, that's it. We're done. We did it. We're going to do new cool things. Um, and so at least he's open to it if someone has a really cool idea. But I personally think that it has the, the three and yeah, it ended with Gale. I, I think you've, I don't think you just, I just don't think you need to call it Dark Souls. Like, I, I don't, I think if you make anything like Elden Ring, obviously is incredibly similar to Dark Souls in functionality and just in everything. So, but you didn't need to call it Dark Souls. So I think that's more so where I come down on that where like, well, just keep making stuff that is in the same realm as it but like you just like i think the lore is like i'm good i'm satisfied the ending to ds3 was just really fucking epic and i think you just go out on on that fucking note you know but then again if they want to do it okay which this reminds me okay so there are people on twitter and this isn't going to be like new information or anything but I fucking hate engagement uh, 
engagement farming, it fucking sucks, dude. Even like the positive ones where they're like, they go Dark Souls 4, W or L. And I'm like, fuck off. Just get out of here. Because here's the thing you notice is that they never, ever really interact with anyone who comments. It sucks. It's like, well, then why the fuck even post it? You're just doing it for, because clearly you, you're trying to get like the monetization, like money from that. Like, I comment to think people that respond to my things because I want to talk about it. I'm not going to just fucking post something so I can say, look at this, I got 6,000 likes. I don't give a shit. I don't know. So that, that just bugs me. Um, I just want them to make another interconnected world. Oh, yes. I, I don't want them to do another open world. Obviously, I'll play the shit out of it. You know that. I'll play the shit. Oh, I went the wrong way. I Why am I even going this way? I'm supposed to go to the depths, you dumb dumb. My God. Um, yeah, I, I, I personally, I think if they were going to use any sort of framework, is the way that Bloodborne functions with its map, perfect. It's not as interconnected as DS1, the first half. But... Damn, it's good, and there's shortcuts, and fucking awesome, and like that to me, I think is like their sort of manageable interconnectivity. Fucking bitch. Uh, I hated Gale as the last boss of Dark Souls series at first. Really? Uh, confused about the lore. I mean, that's what I like about Dark Souls Three is that it's. The ending is literally the, the collapsing in on itself of the entire universe. And that's what you see in the ringed city. It's the, the heaps of all time and space collapsing. And like that, to me, is just the coolest shit of all time. And then Soul of Cinder, I actually think, is really cool. The amalgamation of everyone who's ever linked the fire. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That's awesome. That's so sick. There's so many cool things about DS3. And then there's also things that, like... As I've played it more, I'm like, yeah, this, this, oh, bro, bro, you, okay, do you want me to go the other way? Because I'll go the other way. I'll go to the Taurus Demon way. You're, you're, you're killing me here, dog. Um, I feel like Dark Souls 3, I don't know. There are elements to it that feel a little ham-fisted, like the way that you see the mushroom people in Fair and Swamp. I'm like, Okay, that seems a bit straightforward. Like, I don't know. It seems un-Miyazaki-ish how clear the connections were. Like, and that, the, the more that I think about it, the way that DS2 handled it, while not perfect, I think it was much more a vague sort of connection and, like, if you looked hard enough and you found the items and if you did the new game bosses and got the souls that then directly connected to you know, Dark Souls uh, 1, like, there were really cool, clever ways to connect to Dark Souls 1 without literally slapping Andre in front of your face. Like, I think that does bug me a bit, because I'm like, really? We're just gonna, just fucking Andre? You just imported him from Dark Souls 1? We're not gonna talk about that? It's just, hey, it's your, it's your boy. Okay, I mean, I like that, but also, like, really? Nothing? We're not gonna... No clever, like, any... Okay. I thought DS2 had a, a crafty way of, like, you go into that room and you go into the cave inside the manor in Majula, and then there's something that looks like the Lord Vessel. But it you, you kind of have to, like, look at it and make it out, and it could be, it could not be. I think that's more interesting to me. Or, like, when a character is like, yeah, there's been many kingdoms here in the past and over generations. Like, I think there was just more interesting ways to do it. And then DS3 was just like, hey, so we imported the model from DS1, and then, like, we put them here. And I'm like, ah, okay, yeah. All right. I don't know. Like, and I know some people speculate that, like, is that Miyazaki... Like, is that the Miyazaki Funhouse image of what he thinks Bandai Namco wanted? Like, I know there's some of those. And I think they go too far. Like, no, I don't think it was, like, some grand scheme. But it just, I don't know. There's there's a part of it that feels... Like, I think so much of the lore is fucking awesome. And uh, I think a lot of it is, yeah, fucking great, you know. Um, 
And then for some of them, I'm like, all right, you're gonna, you're a little too, you're a little too far on that one. But that's that's just me. Um, plinth of fire. All right, basement key. We got it. I'm probably gonna end the stream in ten minutes, just so you know. So I'm gonna see how far I can get. God bless. You can just hit B, and then go down the ladder. I'd love to like fix. I don't like how you go down ladders in this in this game where for the longest time I didn't know you could slide down ladders quickly because I thought you had to put the thumbstick down like you do in DS2 and DS3. Like why didn't they just why did Oh my god, that's one of my favorite changes. Oh, I forgot about that. The door pushes inward. <laughs> I love it. That's one of my favorite little changes. And I didn't overthink it. I literally just flipped the door around, and that was it. Easy peasy. Longest ladder in DS1? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's it is. No, I take that back. Longest one, I believe, is in the DLC. Before the Calamite? I think that's the longest one. I could be wrong. I'd actually have to look at the ladder side by side. But yeah, I think it's the Calamite uh, ladder down to his area. Um, okay, I feel very naked. Like I literally am, like almost buck naked. But I feel I, f I without a shield here against the doggos. I feel very weird. I feel very weird, and I don't like it. Somebody, oh, somebody unlock the door. Oh, I don't have the key, my dude. I'm sorry. See ya. Uh. Yeah, so there have been, there there are some animations in like the inverse kinematics or something that are a little wonky in the remaster. I, I think it had something to do with their move to a newer version of uh, Havoc. And so it just kind of broke some things and it just never got fixed, you know? Oh, look at this texture. What the fuck is going on here? That's like some parallax bullshit, but it's like miss... Oh, that's wild. That's some parallax that on a texture that is completely UV mapped wrong. Oh my god. From soft. You're never gonna make it in this industry with Oh my god. Hell yeah, big dog. Uh hell yeah. Uh we're gonna fuck up Capra pretty good here, you know? It's gonna be pretty pretty easy. I got fast roll. Oh, I'm gonna get my black leather armor down here, by the way, which is my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite armor set, but it's, it's pretty close. I fucking love it. Damn, you guys are beefier than I thought. Holy shit. I think it's further down here, right? You can attack the hollow guys through the door. You can indeed. You can indeed. I like that they kick the door open. I need the doors open. Give me the door. Ah, damn it. This fucking torch isn't illuminating. Shit. This hand, this happens like at random sometimes. I think I need to change the MTD setting on this wall and that should fix it. Annoyingly. Oh shit, my ass. Okay. That dog still fucking scares me. All right, thank you for kicking the doors open. Baby. All right, we got a shot, we got it. Oh fuck my ass, okay. Sorry advertisers, but I like, I like cursing, so. That's too bad. Oh, nope, next one. <gasps> oh, my beloved. Oh, the black leather set. I fucking love it, dude. It's so, it's so good. That will never not be a starting set for me. Oh, I'm mid-rolling. Okay, shit. Oh, we're fast rolling. We're back. Oh, I totally forget there's another uh, dog. Do I even need the Firelink shortcut? No, I fucking don't. I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm a one-shot this guy. Five minutes left on the stream. Okay, the full weeds. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. I was wrong. I was wrong. I might just... No! 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 
Okay. So, um, yeah, no chance he beats Capra. Yeah. You weren't wrong. <laughs> you weren't wrong. Well, we're going to go the other way now. I love your work, man. Oh, thank you. Too deep for sleep. Love the name. I hope to never be too deep for sleep. I love sleep. Did I kick this ladder? I did kick the ladder. But I'm not going to use it. Unbreakable glass. Message retracted. Uh, I didn't like the idea of dogs in the Capra Demon room. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little stinky. It's a little stinky. I'll grant you that. It's a little stinky. I mean, Miyazaki, we know he fucking hates dogs. A dog wronged him in his life. I don't know how. And I don't know when. And it might be an ongoing basis. But a dog very clearly fucked him over. And we are all paying the price for it, let me tell you. No fucking way. He's throwing bombs from up there. I don't think I've ever been hit by a bomb while I'm down here. That's crazy. Oh, you're up here too? Bro. You guys are not leashing like you normally do. Just so we're clear. Okay? Just so we're clear. I know the leash laws in this county, and you guys are not leashing as you normally do. I'm just... You know what? Like, come on. I need it to be like DS3 where I can roll and I can push these motherfuckers. That did not happen. Luke says, hello. What's up, Luke? I got three minutes left on the stream, and I'm going to be patient Pete. I'm not going to be aggro Andy. I'm going to be smart. And I'm going to get whacked in the goddamn face. Clearly. Okay, we're going. Uh, uh, I almost put the HUD back on, and then I went, no. HUD off. Much fun, Capper. Yeah, fucking Capper. Demon run back. I, fucking, I should have... I. I should have unlocked the fucking Firelink shortcut. I flew too close to the sun, man, on wings of pastrami. And boy, did I pay the price. Never run straight. I know. Well, okay, so running straight to the bosses commonly works, but not for Capra. And I commonly forget that. Capra's the one where, like, you can't do that because that one little hallway area is just, you know, like... That that goes up on Pornhub. That's a bang bus situation, and it's a shame. But like, yeah, I, I always make that mistake. Uh, Taurus demon, easy run back. You can dodge all the enemies. It's not a big deal. Okay, fucking cock bitch taint. Okay. All right. Oh man, you guys really, really are pretty. You know, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. Hey. Okay. All right. All right. I'm playing very well. Playing very well. Doing real good here. Okay. Uh, being a little aggro Andy. Not being patient Pete. Um, okay, 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 okay. Can I... Oh, 100% physical? Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Holy shit. Okay, it's a mid-roll, but, like, I'm okay. You can run straight to Capra if you run to the left in that hallway. I feel like I, yeah, I guess it's touchy. Like, it, the two dogs is what really complicates it, because it depends on their movements, and I, I've, I've been able to do it sometimes, and man, sometimes I have not. Hey, hey, doggo. Where your fucking bitch ass at? Okay, well now it's two swings to kill him, so that's not great. Hey, did you guys open your doors yet? Okay, cool, thank you. Oh, the range on this uh, axe is pretty good. Oh, fucking. Okay. At least you don't have Dark Souls 2 projectile. Oh, you fucking. That was pretty cool looking, I gotta admit. Okay. 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 Is it. Who. Who's around the corner here? Who. No. You have got to be shitting me. 
You absolute bitch. Okay, hold on. Hey, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I realize all my torches turned off down here, so that's pretty sick. Loving that. Don't understand why. Not really. Because I think I changed the MTV settings, too. And... Okay, fine. We'll get the fucking fire link shortcut. You know what? No. Actually, fuck that. that it's, not, it's not that much better. It's a little better, but it ain't that much better. He's both. Yeah, that's true. Does Miyazaki got that dog in him? You bet he's got that dog in him. He's got a couple dogs in him. Two kind of wolves or something. Is that, a, is that, a, is that something? Okay. I okay. To be fair, I need I need my fast roll again. Okay, fast roll. Go to the right. It's it's the opposite of what you would think. So you Are, oh, fucking shit. Man, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing great. I'm not, I am not doing great. What if I, I, it's also because I don't like the moveset on this axe, uh, at all. I'm gonna blame it on the moveset. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm currently blaming it on the fucking moveset. <sighs> Out of heels, yeah, it's, uh... It's also because I'm putting pressure on myself to do it, and let me tell you, that is not going well. Okay, bitch asses. One last run. It, the funny thing is, I usually don't have an issue with Capra at all. Like, not, and not because he's not difficult, just because I've, I've done it like five million times. But I am realizing there's a difference in doing it on stream and not doing it on stream. There's definitely a difference. It's the moveset, yeah, don't worry about it. It's the moveset, we all know it. The streets are talking and they don't like the moveset on that ax. Oh, fuck it. Let me just... All right, we're human. Yeah, firebomb cheese, yeah, there you go, that's true. Uh, Kendall, give me my goddamn five flasks. I'll still do my no HUD thing. But now I got my beloved Claymore. Ten Estus Blast. Uh, oh. Yeah, I want a fast roll, though. Damn, y'all y'all really going to make me go naked? Okay. L moveset. Yeah, true. Okay, all right, we're moving. I got hairy butt cheeks uh, on the camera here, so. Didn't really want to take any hits there. Um, not really. Oh, no fucking way, bro. I got gold pine resin? Hell yeah, dude. Okay, we're still doing no HUD, though. Oh shit, gotta work. Good luck on the Brapper Demon. Put him in his place. I'm working on it, man. It's not going great. This run back is pretty stinky. I guess I should use the bonfire to kill him, because I know that's like the... Are you shitting me? Are you fucking... What is happening? Are all... Do all streamers deal with this? This is crazy. I've done this like five million times. Okay, okay. It's, it's one, one, one more try, one more try. <laughs> Turns out tries can be really quick if you die really, really early. I don't know if you knew that. I don't know if you knew that. While I'm dying on the inside. Okay, we're using the bonfire. Okay. Jump in the fire, bitches. Yeah, you dumb ass. Oh, I disagree. Why are you not dying to the fire? What? What, what did... Oh, no. 
Oh, I, I may have disabled the fire effect on the bonfire. Okay, okay, okay. It's all good. Okay, all right. Now I can't even get to the boss. Like, this is pretty hilarious, to be honest. Like, okay, also can't... Dude, this run bad. I... What is happening? What is happening? Yeah, I think I can put on, like, gloves or something, but I feel like I'll still die. The fast roll is... What is happening? I've done this... 8 million times. I live in this game. I, not that that makes anyone, like good at it but like I've, I've done it so many fucking times that i can't believe i'm dying to this <laughs> what is happening i promise i need to record uh, I'm, I'm now realizing the only proof that people have is that i usually suck at this game judging by my mod videos so yeah i promise you i i dumpster this on my own you know? just just trust me chat just trust me um, okay, they've studied your techniques. I, they've downloaded my moveset. That is abundantly clear. Because, like, my bulls, they're, they're not here for the bullshit. Like, they're pulling out moves no one has ever seen. Like, the streets are, the streets are alive right now. This is crazy. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I am... Bro, I like I I I gotta be real with you here. I'm 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 pissed. Like my heart is absolutely beating here hard. Like I I I I need to beat this boss. I I need to reclaim my honor. Like what is happening? Okay, so now I got 100% physical resist. I need to use it. Oh, I just realized the fog wall turns off. Has that always been the case? Well, that's hilarious. Okay, well, I know how to fix that. Okay. Shit in my fucking ass. Just shit in it. Just absolutely shit in it. This is unbelievable. This is bordering on... Fucking disrespectful is what this is. I am the bearer of the curse. I am unken. Oh, dude. That kick was disrespectful and it was meant to be disrespectful. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. That was the case before. Yeah. Okay, okay, alright, alright. We just add some warm ups. What do you got, big dog? You got some heals? You got some invincibility juice? Like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hey. Forgot about you. Gonna be real with you there. I forgot about the dog. Okay, okay. That was a snarling, snarling. Hey, 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 what's up with your ass? You're pulling out new moves. Oh, large stall. That sucks. Yeah, trivia, I know. I, okay, I know. Any gamer cred I had has gone right <laughs> I swear, I one-shotted Gale the last time I beat him, all right? Now, there's no proof of that, but I said I did, so, you know. Um, I said I did. Well, the dog interrupted my, uh, my role, so, you know. We can all agree that's unfair, all right? Oh my, hey, no fucking way you hit me from fucking up there. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. Gotta heal up, gotta heal up. No fucking way. He hit me from down there. That, I know, I should use the fire link shortcut. How did he? How did he hit me from 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 down there? I I don't normally have that happen. Normally I'm safe up there.
Okay, tomorrow's stream I will beat Capper Demon. He has bested me for now. I will come back fresh. Um, Wario, I swear to God. We all agree it's the moveset. I'm going to end the stream now. No one can disagree with me. It is the moveset. Well, I don't think... No, he didn't do a plunging attack. He did his overhead, like, slam. And, like, I guess there's enough range on it. But, like, fucking... Or did he? Did he on the way down? Really? Oh, okay. Well, news to me. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Because I want to do it Monday through Friday. 2 p.m. each time. Because it's, uh, it's fun. And I like it. So. And I know I always say, oh, I'm going to stream more often. But uh, I'm actually going to do it. Because I like it. So. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. I almost did my YouTube uh, exit spiel. Uh, good night, Luke. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want, like, you know more of my bullshit.